Immortals. So I'm Jensen. Welcome to our first ever Retro Games Day. It had a much longer title when I first announced it, and we will be retconning that title somewhat soon uh, for something a little bit more brief that isn't like 20 words long. Now, I just have to tell everybody that you, the viewer, are actually going to be seeing this game in a significantly higher resolution than I am. This is what it looks like on my screen right here. So, <laughs> the first retro game we're gonna be playing, I'm basically gonna be squinting at the whole time. Regardless, I've got everything set up and we are ready to fire into it. In some aquarium? No, don't set him onto this one. He'll get really, really famous. Oh, I've also had a thousand subs. Oh, there we go. Okay, so everything's fixed and shit. Right, so, let's fire into the game. I kind of screwed around a little bit and also I'm blessed right here by a beautiful dick butt. You see, right here. Right here, the dick butt? Do, do we all see this dick butt right here? Get that mic out of the way. Do we all see the dick butt? Please confirm, this is important. This is, it's really important that we see the dick butt before I continue along with this game. Do we all see the dick butt? No, you don't see the dick butt. Okay, good, everything's working as intended. Let's fire into the game. So, I'm gonna click here to play. I deleted my save, we are using the traditional cursor as well, so it's gonna be a little bit slow, a little bit fiddly looking. Uh, what do we wanna name ourselves? Probably, uh, Poopy, poopy, uh, butthole. Oh, no, okay, so we have a character limit. Maybe, how about, Frisk. We'll go hard mode, boom, okay. Welcome to Anderson in San Aquarium, Frisk. If this is not you, click here. I'm not gonna be clicking there on account of the fact that we are doing a genocide run. Jen McAllister, who is that? I have no idea. Let's start our adventure. So, this is the tutorial. We basically have to feed fish, and then we have to kill aliens that invade our tank. No, I am not joking. And then we have to uh, solve all of these egg pieces, which, again, doesn't make a lot of sense. So, let's fire into it. We'll start feeding these fish right goddamn now! Eight! Eight fish! I don't think it costs us anything to, to drop food or anything like that. But it does take a, a little bit of a, a while for them to get hungry. Here we go. We've almost made our first 180 bucks. So, when these fish grow, they're going to start crapping out money. Name yourself Dickbutt? I don't need to name myself Dickbutt. Dickbutt's on the couch with me. He's right behind me. Also, welcome to the stream, Dead Space, mate. Okay, one of our fish is getting a little bit sick. Let's buy another to feed. Excellent. The economy is already snowballing. It costs five bucks. Not where I live, it doesn't. Awesome. We also got our first money as well. So, here where I live, it's about four dollars. <laughs> uh, do you live in Zambia, DJ? It costs five dollars to feed? Oh, no. Uh, good thing we're getting a little penny from each one of these fish's buttholes. So that's actually profit right there. Nice, get some more of that, more of that fish butthole money. That's the kind of money that I want. That's what I want to fill up all of my, my wallets and stuff with. I want, I only exclusively want Bitcoin from a fish's asshole. Everyone knows that fish just crap wealth. All right, let's get all of this out of here. <laughs> what a weird let's play already. Come on, crap some more money. Let's get another fish. Good, we've got four fishes now. Four fish. I don't actually know what the plural for fish is. Fish eye? Let's just go with fish eye. We've got four fish eye so far. We are, we are snowballing our wealth right now. The economy is now growing. We're probably just gonna have to start mashing the click button and hope that these fish eat the food. Oh good, we can now buy an egg piece. Perfect. It's 150 buckery booze though. Nice, we got our first gold coin as well, which is awesome. Let's get another fish right here. Done, and now we are getting lots of money. So this is a nice relaxing version of the game, I would say. We don't want to get too many fish, otherwise they will start starving. We won't be able to click as fast as we possibly can. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to get as many fish as we can possibly muster. And these big ones hopefully will not just starve to death. Perfect. Okay, we are now getting a revolting amount of money. We can probably start dumping into the egg and hope for the best. Got some more money over here, nice. Excellent! Eat my, eat my food! Fun fact, actually, this fish food is recycled from the fish's poos, believe it or not, because it does actually cost money, apparently, to drop some food in here. Okay, good, we got about 400 buckery booze. We can probably actually just flat out finish this section of the mission, right? Done! We finished the mission! Woo! The plural, plural for fish is fish. I prefer fish eye. POV, Mr. Beast. <laughs> All right, we got Stinky the Snail. He's actually a, a bit of an OP character, if, if you don't mind me saying. An overpowered add to the game. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna uh, kind of trail around the bottom floor here, and he's gonna pick up any fish poos that come out of the assholes. Okay, on this level you'll meet your first alien opponent, or iced alien op opponent, I, I don't actually know. The font in this game is really weird, and I still have to squint really hard to see what the hell is going on. All right, good. Why is, it, why is this a Mr. Beast thing? Does Mr. Beast like make money off of feeding fish crap? 
Or is it just like an economy simulator? Is that, is that what you're talking about there, Red Rocks? We got 160 buckery boos in the bank and we just got our first big fish. Let's buy another fish, sure. Oh, it's not hungry. Never mind. It's gapping it down here. So it probably would be responsible to kind of like <laughs> start tapping on the fish. All right, danger. A vicious alien is about to enter your tank. Defend it with your laser weapon by clicking on it. All right, I'll do that. Don't worry, everybody. I'll put a, a food down here as well in case they get hungry. Now, I do remember a little bit of a strat, which is that if you click on one side of these enemies right here, they will, in fact, be pushed into the opposing sides. So you can actually kind of bait them away from the fish, if you'll pardon the pun. This philanthropy channel in a nutshell, what, he feeds fish and they crap him up. I suppose that's right, actually. That's a pretty good, pretty good representation of Mr. Beast. Good old Mr. Breast. All right, our snail's collecting some of this money. That is overpowered. Good, we've got three fish now. Let's get another three because I'm irresponsible with my money. Our finances are flourishing. Look at them go. We've still got 30 bucks in the bank. I'll get the ones that the snail just flat out won't make it to. Go on, eat. One of our good money makers is about to starve. Okay, we'll start just letting the money fall to the bottom of the tank. I probably shouldn't be too uh, micromanaging with all of this because the snail will pick them up eventually. Ah, uh, yes, let's nourish further. Uh, we don't have the money to do so, unfortunately, so we're probably gonna have to take from the asshole as they drop. Evil Mr. Breast, I would never hire a, a six offender. What about like a Minecraft girlfriender? Would you ever hire a, a Minecraft girl, girlfriender, Mr. Breast? Okay, we are almost at the point where we can buy the nourishment. We can buy the nourishment, good. So this should inflate the fish further. L I mean literally as well. I don't mean as kind of like an economy thing. I mean literally inflate the fish. Battle tip, shoot the alien's head to push it downwards. Shoot its tail to deflect it upwards. I've already explained this mechanic, my, my dizzle. You don't need to mansplain the game to me. I've already figured it out. Dun, 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 dun. Don't eat my fish! If they touch a fish, they will eat it, which is a big, big no-no. We do not want our fish to be eaten. We only want them crapping money. Okay, I'll get these two so it doesn't confuse the snail. Oh, I think he missed a gold coin. What a wanker. Okay, good. I can now upgrade the food so I can drop more than one pallet at once. That is pretty damn handy. Let's go ahead and just use, utilize it as much as we can. We'll drop two at a time now, I think. I think it only costs like five bucks every single time we do this too. Is that right? Yeah, only five bucks. Okay, so we've got a bit of money. We need 1,500 to finish level. It's not really worth doing anything else until we can... Okay, I've got too many fish. We have so many fish. Why don't we just mash the button? Okay, we can't pick up any money anymore. We're going to have to have the snail face tank all of this money for us. Uh, we'll pick up these ones, obviously. And we'll just keep a consistent flow of food coming. Oh, look at all the cash we've got. So much money! Money! I love it! I do feel like Mr. Breast now. I'm actually, it's a little stressful. I would totally play this. Yeah, but it looks absolutely disgusting and uh, it's basically an RSI simulator. <laughs> It'll, uh, it will literally harm your wrists to play. Okay, I'm just gonna leave an auto clicker here because I don't want to destroy my mouse. This is some hardcore gameplay. Like in prostitution or slavery. I don't know where, this, where to get this game anymore. You can actually get it on Steam, believe it or not. This is a remastered version of the really, really old version of the game. Okay, we've got to destroy this alien. He ate one of our fish already. What a dick. Like, an actual official dick right now. Okay, I'm getting all the cash right here. We almost have 1,500 buckery booze. We don't even need to feed our fish anymore. They can just starve. I don't care. Look at all the money we've got. And we've beaten it. Nice. Done. All this in under 10 minutes as well. Great. So, Nico the Oyster, this guy is also kind of OP. He is a consistent, steady flow of income. He basically just jams his face up every now and then. He shows you a pearl, and if you click on the pearl, you get to keep that pearl. All right, good. Fish, are you hungry? Yes. Good. Are you hungry? Yes, you're actually starving. Why don't you go for the food initially, you dick? Come on, Nico. Show me your delicious pearl. Please? I beg you. Show me. All right, let's feed our fish real quickly. Show me your mouth. Let's buy another guppy. Good. We should be able to unlock some more fish in the future. Some that eat our fish as food, but they crap diamonds. No, I am not joking. They literally crap diamonds. Okay, good. We finally get our first source of income. We can get another fish now. Let's go ahead and just grab that. And I want this pearl. It is 250 bucks every single time we collect it. That is an insane amount of early game experience. Woo. Tell me why YouTube regulations? What, the, uh, the chat? It's probably because I've got it enabled. It's not even strict, it's just like mild. It's mild chat restrictions. 
but you know how YouTube loved their censorship of, of, of free speech and stuff like that. I'm more of a say what you damn well please and uh, let consequences <laughs> decide whether or not you get cancelled. Okay, good. Ah, here we go. Here's the other fish. So now we can buy these carnivores who we have to feed fish to, but they do crab diamonds pretty frequently. Okay, let's grow, upgrade the food quantity because we probably need to... We got 250 bucks. We're going to dump it into quality. Okay, good. Let's get our fish fed before this alien comes in here. Where's it going to come out of? Die! 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 Die, Xenomorph! Die! Die! It's dead. Excellent. Okay, let's feed our fish again. We got 500 buckery booze. Let's go upgrade the food quality. We'll make the fish a little bit fatter, I think. Okay, they're all getting kind of hungry now. We'll do two at a time. Boop. One of them almost starved to death. Got kind of sick. I don't really care too much. Dude, I have so many suggestions for this day of the week. Excellent. So do I. I've got like Fallout 1. There's, um... Oh, there was one really good one. It was like, um... There was a really, really old kind of top-down strategy game. You know, where you move uh, isometrically. And basically the gameplay loop was that you kind of resurrect animals from the dead and blend them together to fight on your behalf. God, what was it called? It was so good. There's also Spell Force. Spell Force is awesome. There's uh, Lord of the Rings, Battle for Middle Earth. There's also another top-down strategy. Very fun. Love them all. Love them all to death. And uh, the Commander Keen series, which are the game series that the Minecraft uh, enchanting language was based off of as well. I give up, that joke wasn't funny anyway. Okay. Ah! Perfect, we got another pearl. So let's actually get ourselves a carnivore. Okay, the egg pieces are now 2,000 buckery booze. We probably, oh damn. I think he was actually about to eat one of our bigger fish as well. Uh, one of our fish are dead. One of our cash cows is dead, unfortunately. Where is he? There he is. Okay, we'll get him away from our fish. And dead. I don't know if we got that diamond. I don't know if the snail picked up that diamond. I think he did, because we got a lot of money. Okay, we're gonna have to start buying a bunch of these guppies now, and we want to upgrade food quantity so that we can keep a consistent amount of money uh, flowing in from our piranha right here, who I don't think grows, but he does crap out diamonds, which is awesome. Ooh, 250 bucks, thank you very much, little clamshell. Let's get another carnivore, see what happens. Get a few more of these guppies. And we should be golden. More diamonds, great. We need six grand to finish the mission. Again, it's not really worth spending the money until you actually have all of the money in pocket because I'm pretty sure it like inflates the amount of enemies that spawn and you can't feed fish while enemies are in the tank. Okay, good. Still getting a lot of money. Okay, we'll get a few more guppies to feed our carnivores. Excellent. We'll throw another few bits of food down as well. It'll actually upgrade the quantity again. It's a, a bold choice, but it's a decision that I have made. Awesome, we got a pearl. Love it! I don't think we'll bother with the laser gun because I don't think we'll see another alien by the time we actually get our six grand. We're pretty damn close. We're pretty damn close to our six grand. Okay, let's get a few more guppies. Nice. They're only 300 bucks to get a few of them. So I think it's actually going to be worth doing. Okay, we've got a few starving fish here, unfortunately. We've got, we do have an alien coming, unfortunately. But that's absolutely fine. I'm going to just get all of this money. Hopefully he doesn't spawn where our fish are. He did it! Don't eat my carnivore! Don't you dare, Xenomorph! Why are my fish going towards it? What are you, stupid? Well, I suppose they are fish. They've got, like, fish brains. Or something like that. Maybe they even literally have fish brains. Okay, we definitely want them, and we can finish their level! Woo! Is this Prego? No, this is Itchy the Swordfish. So he's kind of crap. He's just going to help us uh, with the aliens. He's kind of crap because he bumps the aliens in any way he, he damn well pleases. So he's not amazing. Dude, the, xenom the xenomorph is crazy. Line up, everybody, line up. I just realized you had 1K. Yes, I had 1K subs, and I'm going to do a 1K sub special uh, at some point as well, which I'm very excited for. Okay, good. We'll start sticking all of this food into here. Wow, that was jank. Okay, our fish are kind of starving pretty fast. We are probably going to get ourselves a pearl before these fish actually grow. All right, let's feed that one, then they'll feed this one here. Never mind. Awesome. We've got another fish that we can feed some of this food to, or this poo to. I, re I literally cannot tell. I'm pretty sure we are actually recycling poos, and that is how we are feeding these fish. Awesome. One of them grew. Love that. And now we've got a consistent, steady income. Awesome. And we've got a pearl. That's 250 buckery poos. Let's get three more fish. I love this. I love the spiraling economy games. Little Misfortune cosplay for 10k sub special. Uh, no, no, no. I'm probably more likely to do like a Doom guy cosplay, something like that. Doom Medieval. Or maybe like a, um, 
a sleep token cosplay? <laughs> That'd be a really easy one. That's literally just black camo paint all over your body and a really cheap bathrobe. That's just three sizes too big. Okay, good. I'll get that coin right there. Awesome, we can get our first predator. Let's do it. No, we can't afford it. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay, so we probably want to upgrade food quality first before we kind of duck into the carnivores. Okay, let's do it. And we'll fire one there so that they can eat. Don't starve, please. Please don't starve. Okay, we're about to lose one. Why is that fish going to, damn it. One of our fish just went towards whatever the hell that thing is. I think it's like a, a predator, a sea predator. Ocean predator? A, a Pisces editor. Because uh, Pisces means fish. I'm sure you all get it. Damn it! We, we died a fish. That's embarrassing, actually. Okay, let's increase the food quantity because we probably need to do so now. Okay, good. We'll get that gold coin and we'll get four more guppies. Gorgeous! Excellent. We got a pearl, which means we can get ourselves more guppies. I'm just going to mash the mouse in here. Excellent. Four guppies. Okay, we can't feed them. We can feed them. Good. That was close, actually. We almost definitely screwed ourselves out of income. <laughs> okay, we need this money right here. We can't spend all of our money. i got to keep that in mind, because if fish die, we don't have any income, and we still need to actually spend money on the food itself, hilariously. It's just like real life. I, th I thought I escaped real life when I played the video game. Let's upgrade the food quantity right here. Right there. Good, done, and we'll get three right down that lane there. I kind of like the fish right in the middle of the screen simply because they're as far away from the aliens as they could possibly be after they eat. Okay, it's getting a little bit stressful now. All of the money is coming to us much quicker than I was hoping. Okay, here we go. We've got some of the aliens inbound. Let's go ahead and feed our fish so that they kind of get out of the line of fire. They did not get out of the line of fire. Okay, we've got one really sick fish here and he's dead. Excellent. Let's go ahead and just feed all of our fish as fast as we can. Beautiful. Oh, that was stressful. Okay, good. So, what do we want to focus on next? Probably getting a predator of some sort, right? We can probably do that now. Let's get our first carnivore. We'll also take that pearl right there. Let's get all of this. Uh, why am I treating this like it's a battle royale? I'm doing like flick shots and all that kind of stuff. All right, we already got a, a dead fish, which is annoying because I was just mashing the feed button. Maybe we need to increase our quantity. Good, let's always get these, and we'll also feed our carnivore before he dies a horrible, nasty death. And now we feed. Okay, so the carnivore only eats these really, really small fish, it seems. Okay, these fish are absolutely starving. Let's get more carnivores. Excellent. And as soon as they go green, we'll just buy more, right? We'll, we'll just buy more carnivores. Okay, we're at the point now where we've got to, like, mash the mouse down. Uh, we'll get that pearl, and then we'll buy two guppies so that our carnivores can eat... Excellent. All right, we need nine grand to finish the mission. Almost missed that diamond right there. Actually, let's get another carnivore. Let's get two more. Because their diamonds are just so lucrative. Okay, they cost a thousand, and we are having our fish starve, unfortunately. Enemy approaching. That's not good. Let's feed our carnivores real quick. All right, where is this bastard? I will eat you. I will eat you before you eat my fish. Come on, swordfish. There's a fish going near him. Die, Pisceditor. Pisceditor. Yeah, Pisceditor. That's what I called him. God, I wish I could look at chat, but this is very stressful. Why are early games like this? I played The Sims 1 recently as well. I just downloaded it to see if it was still as hard as I remembered it being when I was quite young. And it is really, really difficult. Like, you don't really have a lot of time to actually do a lot of things before your sim starves or, or lights himself on fire or maybe something else like that. Okay, we'll get some more guppies so that the predators have something nice to eat. Excellent. We need their diamonds. We are very, very close to our goal. We're probably not going to see another alien by the time we get to our goal. Oh, nice. We're almost just a grand away. We're a grand away. Excellent. We probably don't even need to feed our fish anymore, right? Okay, we've got it. Nailed it. The Sims 1 is a good retro ga day game idea. Yeah, definitely. I think we'll do a few things on The Sims. We'll start like a character. We'll start a family. And we'll also kind of like... Make a graveyard. We'll spend an entire day just making a graveyard, which I absolutely loved doing on uh, my sister's worlds because when their sims went to sleep, like 20 ghosts would come around and just create a cacophony of noise and haunt them. And they never understood where these ghosts all came from. And it was because I spent like an hour making sims, killing sims, and then putting their graveyard in another plot of land. <laughs> oh yeah. There's fish in the next castle with all the food they ate. Yeah, I'll say. Queso, yeah, I'll say. 
It's giving those Hero Wars ads. It is, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's giving us now kind of like another um, Generation Alpha phrase for uh, like, you know, um, it's, it's giving like, and then that actually makes sense. They've just removed one of the words to make it more original to their generation because they don't feel like they have enough originality themselves, which is a, a real shame because all of the stuff that they've come up with so far is just garbage. <laughs> like Riz. Ugh. Way to, way to reappropriate Dungeons and Dragons, right, with charisma. So this is uh, Prego the Mama Fish. Prego helps populate your team by giving birth to new baby guppy every so often. This is awesome because it uh, feeds our predators. I do love that. That's not Gen Alpha. Then why are Gen Alpha saying it? Because my generation sure as hell isn't. Although I'm a, a millennial. And I don't know any Zoomers who are saying it, in, uh, it where I live either. So it's got to be Gen Alpha because only the people who come onto my stream who are Gen Alpha say things like Riz, Skibbity, uh, all, all of that crap that, that just doesn't really... It, it takes the sense and context out of a conversation and they expect you to just know what they're talking about. That's Gen Alpha. That's Gen Alpha. As I've got this thought, how, how dare you not read my mind? That's what I've found so far. Okay, so we are going to get rid of uh, Itchy the Swordfish because he kind of sucks. We can actually do his job way better than him. And we're going to replace him with Prego. Now, we have hit a cap of the companions that we can have, so we are going to have to be a little bit less spicy recently. Millennials say it quite a bit around here for some reason. I say it quite a bit. It's, it's probably the most lenient brain rot thing that I will say. Guys, Gen C always say the word pavement. I think they made it. I don't think I've ever heard a Gen Z say pavement. I think they just say... Uh, like, ground. Skibbity and Riz is definitely Gen A, though. Yeah, it definitely is. And, it, like, Riz comes from charisma, which is your ability to uh, pass skill checks in Dungeons & Dragons. Okay. I've got this, like, huge thing on my mind, right? Always about the etymology of words and their origins. Like, swag. Swag was one of those things that was popular about a decade ago. And it took me ages to kind of realise that swag was just a reappropriation of swagger from piracy. Like, people who are wearing illicitly gotten gains as kind of like an expression of wealth. That was swag. Charisma is also a regular word. Ah, uh, yeah, but you got to shorten it down to a single syllable. That way, Gen Alpha can read it. Okay. So, we'll just continue. I think we're pretty good on companions now. Okay. We'll feed all of our fish. I'll kind of like, I'll glance at chat if I have time to uh, across these levels. Because if you kind of drop your guard and... An alien gets into the tank. They can eat the entire thing in about 30 seconds. Okay, let's get ourselves another one of these little guppies. And hopefully he won't starve to death. We've already got money coming in. That's awesome. Uh, we probably want to replace this dickhead here with his little shell face. We probably want to replace him with somebody who uh, potentially just craps out food. That'd be awesome. Although, you know, 250 bucks right at the start of a level is still pretty damn good. Although, if we can kind of like grow the fish at the rate that we have already been growing them, we aren't really going to have an issue anyway. Let's get three more of these, and we'll start feeding these fish as fast as we can possibly muster. All right, good. They're crapping out lots of money. The fish are now also kind of like, they're just collecting around the center of the game, which is exactly what we want. Okay, we want to collect that because the snail won't make it. Good, very good, yes. We've got so many fat fish now. God, I love this so much. I love this. Okay, we've got another coin right here. And we got another three, no, yeah, 300 bucks roundabout. Excellent. I'm gonna upgrade the food and I'm gonna feed fish. Apparently they're not gonna eat anything. Excellent, I fed them all before the alien got here. Oh, watch out, Brego. There is a pie senator right next to you. A fish literally just swam straight into this dick yet and died. I cannot believe that. Oh, nice. Prego just farted out a fish. Excellent. We could probably actually get ourselves a predator fish now, since we have Prego farting fish out at an alarming rate. I wonder how she gets pregnant. Because it sure as hell isn't from, you know, intercourse, right? Which I'm, I'm pretty sure is how most pregnancies occur from, um, from intercourse. There's a really sick fish here who ref refuses to eat. It's getting a little bit emaciated. Okay, let's get ourselves a predator so we can get some nice diamonds Straight up the game. Excellent. Okay, we need 1,500 buckery boos to get through this mission. We've already got our first diamond. The Predator has eaten Prego's child. It's probably a disgusting gameplay loop, but, you know, watch me give a hoot. Okay, we'll increase the amount of food that we can drop down, and we'll also increase its potency. Load it up with steroids like we're at some kind of chicken battery farm or something like that. Okay. Diamond! Almost missed it. That was a good hit by me. I clicked on the diamond, and we got the diamond. 
We don't necessarily need to feed this guy either because Prego should be pumping out babies about as fast as the Predator gets hungry. Never mind, he's, he's too hungry. We don't have long. But Prego did fart out a fish though. Excellent. You do hear like the farts every now and then, right? Those, those are Prego giving birth. And usually, I'm pretty sure babies don't really come from the- No, we got two of them! A Predator! What? Okay. No, get away! Oh, he just ate another one of our money maker fish. I'll get rid of this one first. We'll kind of like try and get that one down on the ground. We got two aliens in here. Nice. Got him! I suppose even if you lose everything, you still get to keep the upgrades that you've already purchased, which is pretty good. Okay, we'll get that pearl because it's a huge cash cow. Good. Let's go ahead and feed more fish and we'll actually get more fish. Excellent. We got three grand in our pocket right now. We'll probably actually do with just uh, getting another couple of these carnivores so that we don't have to feed some of these smaller fish. That'll save us a little bit of money. I think Prigo just farted out another fish. That is disgusting. But hey, if you didn't know, here's, here's a little bit of a PSA. Babies come from the butthole when you give birth. So I'm pretty sure that Prigo right here is doing something that you would call in biology mitosis which is the splitting of cells. Okay, good, we'll go ahead and take this. And we're getting everything. I'm sniping all of this. I'm actually, uh, I'm kind of glad that the resolution's so small because moving the mouse around the screen would be really annoying in this instance. Let's go ahead and feed our predators. Good. And now that they are nice and fed, we'll collect everything that they have. Strangely, I feel like we should probably have more predators. I'm gonna get three more carnivores. We're just gonna spend our money on it so that we get an infinitely snowballing economy right here. Good, they're all eating. Prego's about to fart out another fish. Let's go ahead and get some more of these little guys so we can feed our predators before the aliens come in. Where are they? There they are. We'll kind of get them both into this corner down here. What are you doing? Okay. I also accidentally collected a pearl from what's his face. Die, Pice Editor! Got him! Nice. We'll get all these diamonds. Thank the Lord we didn't get any of our fish eaten. Okay, we'll dump all of that there. Excellent. Look at how fat they're getting. Look at how fat these little fish are getting. Usually this would be um, considered animal abuse, but I'm actually quite glad that it's currently a gameplay loop and not actually a punishable felony. All right, let's go ahead and get all these diamonds now that they're all dropping and we'll feed all of our predators. Great. Eat, my sweets. Eat. Fatten yourselves up. Gorge senseless on the flesh of babies. Ooh. I've just, I've disgusted myself. We are so close to finishing, and we have finished! Nice. On what days do you update the u -bop you lose? Monday. Uh, if I forget, though, it's going to be Tuesday. <sighs> Brat was also a word before that album. I haven't heard the album you're referring to. Charisma was derived by an ancient Greek word, but was popularized by, in America by the game Dungeons and Dragons. Google. Yeah, no, it's a it's a stat from Dungeons and Dragons, and all Gen Alpha did was basically take that stat and then make it a verb, essentially. Oh, uh, I was assaulted at the park today. Man, you've got the worst luck when it comes to this kind of stuff. Can we make a retro games list? Yes! Congrats on getting 1K subs. Yeah, baby! I actually uh, saw it right on 1000 as well, and I, I caught it, and of course, I screenshotted it. I'm gonna be doing a 1000 sub special at some point. Zorf the Sea Wars, this is the guy we want. We want to replace uh, probably the snail with, no, actually the snail's really handy. So Zorf basically just feeds our fish, which is really, really handy in the early game. Oh, bonus round, collect as many shells as you can. If you insist. Okay, fine, I will collect as many shells as I possibly can. Woo, why am I doing this? What are shells, what do they do? Are th is, it, is it anything that is actually useful in any way, shape or form? Probably not. Can we use them as currency? Probably. Okay, what's worth the most? Probably the sacks, right? Yeah, those sacks are definitely worth the most. What do we get? 760, Jesus, that's heaps. That's a lot. Okay, we have 960, I don't know what they... Why a bonus pair for 20,000? Are you taking the piss? What? That's so expensive. Wow, all right, so let's get ourselves Stinky the Snail, we like Brego, and we also want Zorf. Because he feeds our fish, which means we don't necessarily have to do it as much as uh, we would hope. Now, Zorf actually spits out some pretty damn good food. So I'm just going to delegate the feeding to him if there are sick fish. I think that's probably going to be the best idea, to be quite honest. I'll feed like one of them at a time. Zorf, okay, Zorf just uh, spat out a pellet, but I don't think it's any good. No one's going for it because I fed them a little bit too early. He actually takes a long time to spit out all of this food. Oh, nice. Prego just 
Just crapped out a new baby. Awesome. Zorf has fed one fish. Hey, he fed a couple of fish at once. Good man, Zorf. Look at Zorf carrying. Okay, good. So Zorf's pellets are actually better than what we've got so far. So we'll... I think we will delegate the feeding to him. Unless fish get sick and then we'll start popping out some pellets on top of them. There he goes. He's feeding. He's feeding a couple of them. Okay, good. And I'll feed the last of these guys right here. Oh, I think he actually just spits out the pellets when the fish are hungry. That's pretty cool. No, I like that. All right, we won't worry too much about feeding the fish then anymore. He seems to be kind of like doing it himself. Go on, spit some pellets out, Zorf. You big bastard. Good, good. Don't let them die. Don't let them die. Don't let them die, Zorf. Oh, Zorf, you asshole. Can't believe I actually just got angry at someone who's spitting out free food. All right, we got a Xenomorph right here. That's a great name for them, by the way, Scott. I love that. Xenomorph. Okay, good. But after we're done with them, it's more of a see no more. To catch my drift. Okay, we're about to automate Zorf out of a job. Boom. We've upgraded our food palette quality. So now these guys are going to get fatter much, much faster. It looks like the snail isn't quite grabbing everything that we need him to grab. We'll just keep a consistent flow of food going from the middle here. Um, it looks like some mitosis is about to occur inside of Prego right here. And she just farted out a small fish. Good for her. What the hell is this? A star potion. Oh, I know what that is, actually. So, if we get a fish that can crap out the gold coins, we give them a star potion, and it will basically accelerate their ability to crap out good things. I don't know if we have a gold coin crapper, though. We'll upgrade the food uh, amount right here. We'll start dumping it right here, because it seems to be a good idea. Okay, so we do have a few starfish. <laughs> okay, I get it. They're starfish. Uh, Prego just farted out another fish. That's awesome. We'll wait until these big ones are kind of like quite sick. And then we'll start feeding them. Not that one right there. Not that one. Not that one. Okay, damn it. We'll feed that one. Good. Okay, we've got a starfish. He's going to crap out stars and that's going to be a big cash cow for us. I'll put a star down there as well. Star potion. Oops. A fish ate the star potion. That wasn't a really big fish and he died for it. Oh, well, stick to your guns, I suppose, right? All right, what do we got? A lot of stuff over here. Got a star potion fish. Let's go. Oh, Zorf! Zorf screwed us. Okay, we're getting rid of Zorf. He actually sucks. We want to be able to micromanage our fish a little bit better than what we've got. Can we just keep buying these and dump them down? All right, we're actually killing fish with it. Maybe it's not a good idea whatsoever. Okay, good. We'll keep all of this here and here. Zorf is sandbagging us still. Uh, we'll upgrade our food quality. Uh, we only need... What do we need? Around about 2,225 buckaree boos to finish this mission. Let's upgrade the amount of food that we can have on the board at any given time. We can't get any predators for this one, it seems. Which is absolutely fine. I don't mind that whatsoever. We'll get some of that food right there. Uh, Brigo just farted out another baby of mitosis. Uh, stop! Oh, that was close. We almost missed it. There we go. We're actually doing really, really well, by the way. I don't know if anybody kind of, like, understands just how frantic this game can actually get, but we are doing very well. I don't... I wonder if 10-year-olds actually did finish this game, because I first played this when I was, like, 10 years old. And I don't know if the difficulty curve in this game is actually reasonable whatsoever. I don't actually think it is. All right, we've got an alien coming. Let's throw down some food so that our fish can eat in the interim. Okay, good. We've heard another fart. Great. Let's get this one down and in this corner. Just narrowly missed that fresh little fish right there. Okay, so I think we can actually finish the mission. Yep, nice. Done. Retro Games, Eevee Bot, Zombiniville. I've forgotten the actual name. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. Pajama Sam game, Emily is away. Emily is away, I don't think that's retro whatsoever. I think that's actually pretty pretty early. Kixner, yo, welcome to the stream, Kixner. Hey, it's called Zombinis. I'll look it up after the... After the string. Okay, we now have another snail. This guy, Clyde the Jellyfish, will collect any money that he passes next to, and he's not landlocked. So we kind of want the snail, we want this uh, fish right here, and we also want Prego. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got a very, very good kind of recipe for just mass collection of coins, and we'll be doing it about as fast as we possibly can. Probably... Honestly, we probably should have swapped out Stinky the Snail for the Clam that just gives us lots of early game money. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be absolutely fine. Alright. We're losing five bucks every time we feed a fish, which is absolutely fine, because, uh... 
Zorf only saves us five bucks every time we feed a fish. That's all he saves us. Okay, we got two more fish because Prego farted one out. We also just bought one. Go ahead and grab that coin right there because it's valuable. Nice. Good. Now, I don't actually know if Clyde the Jellyfish is better than the snail. I don't think he is. Simply because he has to move on a diagonal, which is significantly slower than everything else. But I suppose he does alleviate the collection process from the snail. That actually makes it to the bottom. So as long as he's close to the coins, it should be fine. All right, we should be able to get another one of these guppies. We've got a few of them now. We probably should be investing in some food at this point, but we don't have it unlocked just yet. I think we probably are going to have some big fish fairly shortly though, right? Okay, that, neither of them are going to make it to that one or that one. We'll collect them both ourselves. Excellent. Uh, Clyde's going to get both of those, I think. Oh, there's a few of them coming. Okay, good. We've got an alien coming, which is fine. Means we can kind of like plan out for the future, right? Oh, we've got one of these little things that kind of... We've got a new fish. We've got a senator here. Well, I'll explain it after we kill him. And he is... Toast. Nice. I love when the seed eater is toast, the pie seed eater. So we've got one of these things here, a star catcher. If they basically catch money in their face, they will crap out stars. And if you catch the stars, you get a bit more money. They are pretty useful. Gotta be said, they are very, very useful. Let's increase the amount of food on the board at any given time. And then we'll also increase the quality right now. Done. So that's out of the way. We could probably start dumping into more fish. But I think Brigo's about to fart one out. She just farted one out. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Nice. I'll kind of micromanage the money a little bit. Alleviate some from Stinky and Clyde. Good. All right. We got 250 bucks in the bank right now. We're going to have to get one of these star catches before we can actually get anything more. However, I think Clyde actually just got that coin right before it hit the bottom of the tank as well. Uh, we'll increase our food quality now because we now need better fish. That's exactly what we need. Uh, Prego still isn't about to fart anything out, so let's just go ahead and get maybe four more of these fish. Then we'll mass feed them. We'll feed them about as much as we can possibly stuff into their fat little bellies. Come on, fish. Eat! Eat, damn you! Eat! Okay, it's getting a little bit hectic. We've got almost too many fish to keep up with. Uh, we probably want to get a star catcher AFAP as fast as possible, right? One of these new ones since we don't have predators. Okay, get out of the fish. Thank you, seed it tip. I see it tip. And it is dead. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. It's dead. We did have a fish running towards it, which is not good. It almost ate it too. Although that is one fish lost. I don't really care about them too much necessarily. Let's get a star catcher. They're really good. So if they swallow a coin, I think it has to be silver. They're not very fast though, unfortunately. So that is something to take into account too. We probably want to just start replacing Clyde the Snail with those little creatures there. And if Clyde's catching everything, we also can't feed them, which is not amazing. Okay, he's getting a little bit sick already. Eat that! Eat that one! What are you doing? Do we have to feed the star catcher? Do we feed it a star potion? No. Okay, I don't know how to feed these bloody things. <laughs> uh, we have unlocked the egg. We need about nine grand to finish the mission, and then we'll get ourselves another little companion. Hopefully they're not going to be as crap as the ones that we've been getting so far. Because retrospectively, aside from the snail, we have some crap enemy. We've got some crap, crap companions. All right, good. Excellent. It's kind of like dog meat when you hit level 20 in Fallout 4. Or even Fallout New Vegas. Or Fallout 3. Or any game where dog meat kind of is there. Uh, let's get ourselves some more fish right here. Okay, I think that's quite enough. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, we've got a alien coming. Let's actually maybe upgrade our laser. There we go. I've upgraded our laser just once. Let's get them out of the way of all of our fish. Don't eat that one! Oh, he ate that one. What a penis. I think he ate a couple of them, actually. What an asshole. Uh, we're definitely going to need to upgrade the amount of food that we can kind of get on the board. Let's get it twice. Nice! And now if we have this auto clicker running, we're just going to generate nine grand. I gotta go. Bye. Bye-bye, DJ. It was nice to see you come over here. I think he wants the fish to eat. Yeah, I think he does want the fish to eat, but the fish won't actually go near the star catchers. I've actually figured it out. So we need to give the big fish the star potion, which is actually really hard to do when we've got so many of these fish here. Whoops. I think I just clicked outside of the game accidentally. And then as soon as they swap... We'll try it. We'll try it, actually. We'll get one of these potions down here. We've got a starfish eating now. Can't afford the star potion. Let's feed another one. Okay, we accidentally just killed it. I accidentally just collected that star. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. 
Okay, we'll get another star potion in here. A couple of star potions in here. Okay, a lot of fish are dying, unfortunately. Eat, my pretties! Okay, the star catcher is not going to get that star. That was embarrassing. Ooh, everything's going wrong. Awesome! So he's crapped out a diamond. We've got a limited amount of time to grab that. Perfect. Let's feed all of our fish right here. And I'm going to drop a star potion in here. Good. Okay, a starfish actually just ate it, which is not amazing. We've only got 1,400 bucks as well, which is not great. We probably make all of our money on just doing what we're doing here. All right, where is this? Where is this dickhead? Okay, we're going to get him away from everything. Damn it, he ate fish. He ate two fish. Two starfish as well. That's not good. All right. We could probably generate the nine grand from the economy that we've got here that is currently flourishing. All right, I'm not too worried about these starfish either. I'm just going to drop a couple of stove pastures and hope these starfish eat them. Okay, good. We've got a diamond on the way right there. We'll get that. We'll get another one of these star catchers. They're kind of expensive, but I think they are going to be worth it in the long run anyway. We'll get another one of these. Collect these stars. Drop another few of their food. All right, we've got a star catcher. About to eat, I think. He's about to swallow something. No, he's not. We'll get another star potion or two so that these other fish can eat and then feed our star catchers. Let's not feed the starfish anymore. We'll just get them cracking stars, I think, and that'll be it. Okay. Oh, right, we've got some fish that are starving. That's not good. Some of the big fish are starving. Whoops. I completely neglected to feed the actual fish. Okay, you can start. I think you'll probably start to see how it gets really hectic after time. Because once you've got so many fish, it, you can only feed them so many star potions, right? All right, accidentally just fed a small fish star potion. That was not only a waste of 250 bucks, but I think Prego actually sandbagged us. Okay, let's not get those stars. Let's feed it to the star catchers or not. They're not hungry whatsoever. Uh, let's try and get these stars here. Excellent. All right, there it is. We've got to keep him over here. He's about to eat a fish. He ate a fish. Get away from the alien, you oaf! The fish are actually moving towards the aliens now, which is just plain brain dead. Oh, fish behavior. All right, good. I think I just farted out another fish. I don't particularly care too much. Stars aren't worth a hell of a lot, honestly. Okay, we got seven grand. We are pretty close to getting ourselves the amount of money that we need, which is pretty good. We could probably do with getting another star catcher or two. Let's just do it. And we won't collect the stars. We won't collect the stars whatsoever. There we go. Another diamond. Diamond there. Great. Love it. You love to see it. Another diamond. Great. Got some stars falling down out of these fish's assholes. I would not want to uh, poop out those stars, honestly. That would be incredibly painful if I had to say so myself. Like, it would just be insanely painful to crap out that amount of sharp objects at once, would it not? Okay. They're kind of worth a bit. We can now finish the mission. Done. We got Vert the Skeleton. Woo! Nice. Cool kid. Well, congrats, Jensen. You reached 1K subscribers. I did. It is Ofish behavior, isn't it? Yes, hello, new to the channel. I think he's changed his name. I think he's changed his name to Cool Kid, so we should probably not be calling him new to the channel anymore. I think he's now in the channel long enough for us to not call him that. All right, Vert the Skeleton drops gold coins, just like a large guppy, but doesn't need fish food to survive. That is the fish we want. So that's kind of overpowered. We're going to collect him. We're going to collect the... I think Clyde is probably a bit more overpowered than the snail, so we'll get him for a bit. I don't think we'll get Prego just yet. Prego is okay, but we can always just buy fish. It's not actually that useful. In fact, it's kind of... Late game is really annoying. It's a really, really annoying mechanic. All right, let's get the snail as well. Uh, let's feed the two fish that we have. So this guy right here, this dead fish, is going to be crapping out gold coins left, right, and center. Well, hopefully just actually behind. My name was always Cool Kid. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> okay, good. We should grow our fish pretty shortly, which means we will have access to buying fish, and then we'll have, like, I don't know, 300 buckery boos just to spend. Yep, here we go. We got two. We got two guppies right off rip. I'm going to feed these fish before I go ahead and invest any money into buying more guppies. Done. Let's buy another guppy. We'll get that coin right there. We'll let the snail get that gold coin that's fallen down down in an earlier round. And sugar, these fish are swimming. Get that gold coin right there as well. Thank you. Thank you, dead fish. I can't even remember his name. I'm pretty sure it was literally just dead fish. He's actually farting out coins much faster than all of these other fish like put together as well. Five fish do not equate to a single dead fish. Weird. Okay, I'm going to grab that one. Uh, let's get two guppies. Nice. And we'll start feeding them, I think. We'll give them food so that they don't starve to death. 
Because that's probably a, a bad thing. We don't really want them to starve. <sighs> Be right back. Okay, there, Red Rocks. Okay, I'll get these two coins. Oh, here we go. A new breed of alien is fast approaching. Lasers can't hurt this baddie, so find another way to defeat it. Uh, okay. I don't know what the hell that other way is going to be. Maybe we have to, like... Oh, I know exactly what we have to do. We have to feed him... So, here we go. We have to feed him fish. He has to eat lots of fish. And then he dies, I think. He explodes. Oh, no, we have to feed him the fish food. Got it. So, this guy actually costs quite a bit, which is a little bit annoying. But it's not actually all that bad. No, don't eat my fish. Don't eat my fish. Okay, good. We gotta stuff him full. Oh, food doesn't actually cost anything. Nice. Eat. Eat, you dick. There we go. He burst. He also reimbursed us around about 200 bucks, which hilariously is probably the uh, net worth of his stomach at the time of his death. Get these here coins. Get three more fish. We'll start feeding them, I think. Nice. We've unlocked all the others now, too. That is grand. So we probably won't buy any more. I think at this point, we'll probably just get all of these fish to grow. We'll turn them into starfish. And then after that, we should be able to just get a bunch of star catchers. We'll get more uh, quality food right this second to fatten up our fish a little bit further. Nice. I love how this is uh, kind of functioning. I love how this is going. Okay, Clyde is going around. He looks pissed off actually. I think I've got a little plush toy that kind of looks like him. It's a little, it's an octopus with a pissed off face on it. That is, that is the plush that I'm referring to. I got it on Timu. Hilariously, I think I spent about four bucks on my one. Uh, Yinsiet also bought one that same week and she spent about 30 bucks on hers. Ha! She got drop shipped. Okay, uh, we'll start collecting all of the money that the snail and Clyde won't make it to. Stinky is his name, Sne Stinky the snail. All right, we'll start getting all of these fish really fat before we start dumping star potions on them. Alien signature type, get detected. Okay, let's upgrade our food quality so that we can kind of like take them out way faster. We'll also upgrade the quantity as well. Oh, he says, he's about to eat one of our fish. Damn it, we lost two of our fish to that dickhead simply because of where he spawned. That's a shame. Oh well. We're gonna keep on dumping food. We've got a grand already, that's pretty good. Uh, so we want these guys to get really, really big. Really, really big and fat. Come on, fishies. Eat! What are you doing? Eat the food! Ungrateful little turds. Okay, I'll collect that one. I accidentally... I think I just put the uh, the food in absolutely the wrong spot so no one could eat it and they all just flew towards the bottom of the tank. Okay, good. We've got a bunch of really, really big fish. It's probably likely now that we could get away with just like dropping star potions as soon as they get hungry. One of these fish will eat that. I'll get a couple of them. Okay, none of the fish ate that one. That's a little embarrassing. We can afford to fatten them all up, though, with these here yeah, star potions. It's costing us 250 bucks per drop. I hope these fish are actually enjoying the food. Okay, another one right here. Get that one. And we drop two more. These two fish should just eat it. Nice. Now we can get a star catcher. And now we can also afford to feed our fish hilariously. Let's just do this. I think this is probably going to be a good gameplay loop. We'll just have a few fish, and then we should be good. All right, let's upgrade that as high as we can possibly muster. Good, and we'll feed this one right here. We'll feed him a few at a time, and he should just burst. I do kind of like those ones. As long as you've upgraded the food, they're not actually that bad to take out. Okay. So, probably want to get ourselves another star catcher, eh, fat? Get that one, and I'll start collecting these stars, because that star catcher sure as hell ain't eating them. Uh, we will get another few of these. Maybe like three, four more. I don't think these stars are really worth that much. I think they're worth about 50 bucks. But ultimately, not a huge amount. We'll get another one right here. We'll get one for each star catcher, and then we'll just collect all of the diamonds that we get. We'll probably also get a few more of these guppies, now that we actually have the stars to feed the star catchers. Let's go ahead and feed them, fatten them up real big. And then we'll try and turn them into star catchers as well. Okay, good. Excellent. I'll get two of these here. I'll get a bunch of these stars, actually. Uh, we'll dump more food right there. We'll upgrade the food quantity, because we probably need to do so. A couple of times, actually. It's only 300 bucks. Let's just get it up to max. It doesn't even cost that much to drop food down here anymore. Okay, got a couple of diamonds. That's awesome. Probably want to get a couple more of these star catchers, because we are dropping stars at an alarming rate. And it seems like a fish can crap out two stars before we actually get anything good out of it. 
Excellent. Clyde is going after a single gold coin as opposed to the diamonds that are being crapped into the sky. We need 1500 bucks. I just saw the value of the egg. We need 1500 bucks and we should be golden to finish the mission. Nice. Take this one. Let's feed this fish to death. Die. Awesome. So it seems like the kind of like seven food at a time actually does work wonders. All right, let's take all of these things that these other guys are not going to be eating. We'll take that one there as well. We'll get another two star catchers. Let's start feeding these fish here because they're about to starve to death, unfortunately. Please don't die! Good. That was so close, actually. So goddamn close. Uh, we got diamonds coming out of the sky. Okay, good. I'm collecting some of these stars now. We are getting stars pretty quickly now. Okay, let's get a few more of these guppies, I think, and we'll... Feed them until they're huge. Like, that amount should be good. I like this. All right, now we will delegate all of the collection to Clyde and the snail, and we'll just focus on fattening up these other fish right here. Once we get them all really, really big and plump, I think we will start feeding them exclusively star potions. I know it's 250 bucks per feed, but that should get lots and lots of stars out. Are any stars being wasted? I think that maybe we've got an excess of the star catches at this point. No, we're definitely getting an excess of these stars. Gorgeous! We probably do with getting one more star catcher at this point. Honestly, at this point, we probably do with just keeping everything that we're getting. I wonder why the snail's prioritizing the silver coins over the diamonds. That's stupid. Okay, we've got a G unit coming in. A type G alien signature coming in here. Take that one. Where is he? Oh, he's right at the bottom. He just ate a couple of star catches, which kind of sucks, but... Say Libby, I suppose. All right, we'll take that one. We'll buy two more of these star catches because they are kind of powerful when you know how to use them. And we'll start dropping food down until all of these little fish are big and bluff. Can you fail in this? Yes, you can. If you lose all of your fish and you lose all of your money getting the fish, unfortunately, the game ends and you fail that mission. Ultimately, though, I think these games are pretty quick retrospectively, and we don't necessarily fail, you know, permanently. It's not like a hardcore game mode. We just basically have to restart the level over and over again. Uh, we're halfway towards our massive goal of 1,500 bucks. Now we're only a third, of the two-thirds of the way to the goal. Get all these diamonds right here. Excellent. I think I'm basically on fish feeding exclusively. Okay, now once all of this food dissipates, we're gonna start just feeding star potions. All right, we've already got a couple of hungry fish. Let's start putting down a bunch of these here star potions. Nice. And we're turning these into star fish. I'm not really, really close to our goal, but this actually does work. I can't believe this. Uh, okay, we'll get a few more of these star catchers here now. And now we've just got diamonds all over the screen. So we basically automated ourselves out of a job. As long as we just feed repeatedly, we should be good. Okay, Clyde is now prioritizing the diamonds. Thank the Lord. Where is he? There he is. Let's feed him these here foods. It's high quality, and he didn't get a single one of our fish. I love that. Snail is also grabbing a bunch of diamonds for us. Gorgeous. I love this. Okay. So, what else do we have to do? No, we have nothing to do. We basically just have to wait until we get the required amount of money, which we have. Boom, boom, boom. This place becomes the two. Nice! What is this one? Rufus the Fiddler Crab. Now, I've never actually gotten this far in the game, so all of these companions here, these are brand new to me. Rufus does heavy damage to enemies you've lured to the bottom of the tank. Hey, that's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Maybe we want that, or maybe we just want to keep Vert, or as I like to call them, Dead Fish, which is not very creative, but, you know, it is what it is. Actually, we don't have any issues in fighting enemies, so we'll just keep the build that we've got going so far. How far have we got? Oh, it's not even an hour. We've been a third of the game. I'm just eyeballing it. Eyeballing it at a distance. Nice, 200 bucks straight off rip. So as soon as we get these fish big and plump enough, we should be able to just absolutely sink our money into buying guppies like so. Done. Got another gold coin coming down. It's going to be another two guppies right there. Love that. Oops. I, maybe we missed that gold coin. Or maybe it's not actually worth as much as I thought it was. Maybe the pearls are worth heaps, and these ones are not actually worth all of that much. I'll see what they are worth. What are gold coins worth? They are worth... Uh, from 155 up to 190, so 35 bucks, I think. Okay, we got two fish here. Nice. We'll get all of these little fish just out of the way right now. Whoops, I clicked out of the game again. I wonder why that menu moves every time you move the mouse back into the game. <laughs> okay, how are we doing? We've got 55 buckery boots, we've got 50 buckery boots. We've just unlocked the star catches and the food upgrades. 
I think we will save up our money and get the first uh, nourishment upgrade. That's probably the best idea. Hey, Yinsen, have you played The Walking Dead? Uh, I played season one of Telltale. That is actually going to be a very, very... It's going to be a far away plan. I'm going to play all of the Telltale games, Walking Dead uh, kind of games. All right, we upgraded the nourishment. We've got a few coins down here. Oh, wait, what the hell is that? Oh, no. Okay, good. We can actually get rid of those rockets by blowing them up. I've never seen this one before. That's kind of cool. I like this boss. That's a cool boss. I like that boss. Okay, good. Now the relaxation starts. I love the lounge music in the background. It's so deceptive in its application in this game. Okay, I'll get some of these coins because our companion's going to miss it. We'll upgrade the amount of food that we can place on the board now. Good. Everyone's going to miss these, so I'm just going to grab them. Nice. Clyde's going to get that one before it hits the bottom of the tank. Good guy, Clyde. Uh, we should probably now invest in these star upgrades. Whoops, we killed one of our fish. Let's see who gets sick next. We'll feed him one. Okay, we've got two star fish here, potentially. Uh, we need more food. Done. And now, this is worth 40. Okay, they are definitely worth upgrading, regardless of whether or not we can do it. All right, let's feed this one fish right here. Okay, good. And now we'll just feed normal food to the rest of them. Uh, we can probably do with the star catcher at this point. So we'll save up for that star catcher, and then we'll just get an absolute ass load of these uh, guppies after we get that first star catcher. We just need to make the sprint to 750 buckery booms. All right, some money. Because uh, basically after this, we want to kind of focus on upgrading food. All right, let's get our first star catcher, and then when we can, we'll upgrade our food to maximum. Good, we've got our first diamond. Let's upgrade food quality. Quantity, sorry. All right, we've got a D-type. I think that is also the uh, Rocket Man. There it is, Rocket Man. Now, I don't know if this guy can actually kill enemies. No, he can't. He can't kill any of our fish. Good, okay, and is this him dead? Yes, it is, excellent. Beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, I think we could probably do with feeding this guy a star potion. Damn it. I think I missed it. Okay, good. Turn that one into a starfish. And this one is now a starfish. Uh, I think this one is... No, all of them are now starfish. Perfect. So we'll just go ahead and continue feeding these guys. We've got 500 bucks. I think that the best thing for us would be to get another one of these star catchers. Just because we already have all of the stars in the tank. Okay, we'll do that. We'll get another star catcher, and if we can, we'll get one more before we start dumping into the guppies again. I mean, this game, at its core, is probably just stat dump. Stat dump the game. Okay, we can afford another one of these star catchers. Let's do that, and we'll feed some of the fish. Grab that. Awesome, and we've got a few more of these stars that can be gathered. I didn't want to gather all of those stars, but I did regardless because I'm a greedy piece of garbage. Get another star catcher. And after now, we're going to upgrade the nourishment of our food, and then we're going to get lots of guppies. Because I think that's basically what the gameplay loop's going to be like. Get two diamonds. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Okay, nourishment, food quantity, and dump into guppies. Good. So we'll get these guys up to max as well, if we can. Going to get all of that food right there. Sorry, all of these stars. This guy can't do anything. He's going to fight. Yes, he is. Let's take out all of that. Good, good, good. We'll keep them in this corner, and then we'll just take out the rockets as they spawn. He just fired on one of our star catchers. Wow. What a jerk. What an actual jerk. Oh, gotta leave the stream for a bit. I'll be back. Okay, cool kid. What are your thoughts on having 1K subscribers? It's pretty cool. It's really, really uh, nice that now I have the potential to make money on the platform. But at the same time, I don't necessarily know if I am going to be making money on the platform because it's essentially based around ad revenue. And uh, not a lot of people are watching my videos. I do have really long videos, though. So the people who are watching my videos are definitely generating ad revenue. But I think in the YouTube gaming space, ad revenue pays its creators about three cents per thousand views. Per thousand ads watched. And I don't know whether or not that's like compounding ads. Like those two 15 second ads. I don't know if that's one ad break or if that's like one ad alone. Or if it's just like a bunch of different ads. That'd be kind of cool. But I, I literally just don't know. I just don't, I don't know how the economy works on YouTube. I like to have more experience before I kind of get really excited about it. But having a thousand subs, that means the number has changed. I've just gained a number on top of everything. It does feel awesome. It feels awesome that I'm validated in terms of the number, especially since I have gimped myself at every possible point that I could possibly have. The YouTube gaming space is massively oversaturated. Uh, I'm, what I, I appear to be a straight white male 
I know that I've got nice baby blue eyes, but ultimately at the end of the day, that doesn't really make a huge difference. Oh, that was close. Get out of the way of the rockets, fish, you idiot! Okay. I'm actually going to fire up away from the fish. Nice. Got him. So we don't want any more of these gold... Actually... Okay, let's start feeding the star potions, because we've got lots of money, and it doesn't really make a huge difference to us, right? Star potion! Star potion! And come on, everybody, it's feeding time! We need more starfish! And one right here, too. Nice! And another one here. Good. And then we'll just start feeding all of the other fish. So now we want to dump into star catchers. And we'll just keep what we've got, I think. And they'll just keep on cracking out these diamonds until we get to 2,250 buckery boos. In which case, we can buy the whole egg in one go. There's not really much point in just sinking money into it consecutively. Like, click, play the game, click, play the game into the egg. It doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. Uh, we do have a couple of these starfish right here. Let's get this one right here to eat the star potion, turn it into a starfish. Thank you very much. And we've only got one normal fish left. So we'll just feed. We'll just feed and hope for the best. Nice. People with blue eyes be like, I got nice baby blues. I'm, I'm pretty aware of that. But at the same time, there's so many YouTubers who have nice baby blues, so that can't really be a staple. I started exercising and getting all these buff muscles just so that I could get more views on YouTube. That was literally it. While I was gone, all I was doing was listening to Lady Gaga. There are worse choices. I like Lady Gaga. She's got some good songs. Bad Romance, I like that one. Okay, we'll take this ticket out. Oh, that was close. Although, also lucky. All of our fish seems to be... Uh, kind of like surrounding him every time he spawns and all of our star catchers seem to be the targets maybe they only go for the most expensive fish in the tank which would actually be awesome it means if we have star catchers then the rockets have longer to actually reach the intended targets all right we've got 12 grand in our pocket right this second We're getting a lot of diamonds out of this uh build that we've got here loving this i'm actually loving this got some diamonds right there i'm pretty sure we're almost automating dead fish out of a jar, right? Got a diamond down here, no one's gonna grab. Awesome. We got 15 grand. Now I don't know, I don't remember how much we need. I think it was 2,200, no, 22,500. That's what we need. Not just such a small number as 2.2K. That'd be silly. <sighs> this is relaxing. It's when the monsters come in, then it stops being relaxing. Although, actually, in saying that, from the perspective of me, the game is very, very relaxing regardless of the enemies, especially with an auto-clicker. Because this game is essentially RE size simulator. You will hurt yourself if you play it as intended. I do remember that. That's why I stopped playing it when I first got the game, when I was like, I don't know. I think I was like 12 when I first played this, maybe 11. Then I played it. And I, my wrist just hurt after every session. So I just stopped playing it. All right, we got a D-type coming. Let's get all of these stars right here. And there he is! Let's get him into the spawn over here. Hopefully his rockets won't hit anything. Okay, there goes my theory about aiming for the most expensive fish. Okay, that one almost made it down south side. That was very close, actually. I'll take all those stars because I want to. We can get the egg. Yes! Nice! What do we get? This is a new one to me as well. Meryl the Mermaid. Meryl's song cheers up the guppies in the tank, making them drop coins faster! Ooh! Found a good replacement for dead fish. Let's get this mermaid and the two coin collectors. And then we'll move onwards. I love that. Although I don't... Oh, maybe she would synergize really, really well with the pearl and also dead fish. Maybe that's something we should take into consideration. I think we're also one feet away from uh, these fish getting a bit chunkier. Maybe this one? Yes, good. Let's get another guppy and we'll feed him food. Or not. Good. Ah, not now. Every time it's like hot and dry, my nose gets really itchy and I have no idea why. It's not like a hypoallergenic thing either. What are you doing, fish? Oh, I wasn't feeding them. That's <laughs> that's what was happening. Every time I look away from the screen, I turn off the... Uh, I, I turn off the auto clicker, which is just bound to my mouse. I, just, I suppose I could just leave it on, but every time I want to buy fish, I, I just kind of like manually click that as well. Okay, we can get another guppy right here. I wonder when the enemies are going to start kind of like changing to be like uh, multiple different enemies at once okay excellent we've got a, a big gold coin fish now so it seems like Meryl the Mermaid is one of those creatures that kind of snowballs based on how far you are getting in the level which means she's always going to be useful all right we got a d-type uh, coming in that is definitely the uh, rocket man 
The David Bowie guy, right here. We'll take him out. Whoa. Definitely take him out. Die! Die, robot! If you can comprehend the, the concept. I don't think he can, he can actually comprehend the concept. He's a robot, which means he can't really understand death. What the point of it? Okay. We can get five more guppies. Let's just do that, because I'm irresponsible. I'm back, what happened? Uh, we got a new build going. We've got this new mermaid who basically sings, it seems like once every 30 seconds to a minute. I haven't timed it yet, but every time she does it, you'll probably see it very, very shortly. Everyone craps money at the same time. So, here we go. She did her song, everyone is crapping money. Awesome. It doesn't matter what their crap cooldown is. I am back, I had to pop out for dinner, that's fine. Uh, look, no one needs to apologize for eating. Right, that is the whole point of this game. That's why we're here right now. Okay, so we want to get all of these fish up to fat. We want to fat max them. So let's increase the quality of our food as soon as we can. We'll also increase the amount that we can drop because we can only drop one at a time, which is a little bit of a damn fart as well. We'll go ahead and do that so we can drop two at a time. That'll fatten up these fish significantly faster. Uh, let's turn the auto clicker off, get these coins right here because no one else is going to get them. Nice! More money! Oh my god, it's never ending! Oh, this is gonna stack up real well with these star collectors as well. We got a D-type coming in, that's the Rocket Man again. We got the Bowie robot coming in. David Bowie. The connection that I'm making is Rocket Man. There he is. And we want to take out his missiles. Maybe if we just like hope hop the mouse here. Don't go towards the rockets, you idiot! What are you doing? That fish is so lucky that the rocket was not targeting him. That was so goddamn lucky. Oh my god, that could have gone so horribly wrong. Okay, good. We kind of want to drop food right at the top of the tank, which is a shame because all the money's at the bottom of the tank. I suppose we could just delegate to our, our collectors. They are doing okay. Uh, we've almost got all of our fish up to fat max as well. We are fat maxing them. Come on, fish, eat. I feel guilty whenever I eat more than usual. <laughs> you should not eat as a war cry. <laughs> I never feel guilty about eating too much because I exercise, that's the thing. A, a lot of people always say that you should always try and out-eat no exercise. Like, flat out, you should just eat to enable yourself to never exercise. That's kind of like how diet fads get really popular. And it's absolutely brain dead. It's, that is probably the earliest brain rot in the world. I feel like you should always be able to out-eat a bad diet. As long as you're actually getting the required nutrients, take a multivitamin, eat a piece of fruit a day, maybe eat some meat if you're vegan, eat a meat substitute each day. Other than that, eat 10 bags of candy. Why does anyone care if you're exercising it all off? Whoa! If you're exercising it all off, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, let's stop feeding them the this crap that we call food. Let's start feeding them these star potions. Okay, that was 250 bucks wasted. Let's go ahead and feed them another one. Start feeding them all these star potions. All right, good. I'm gonna take out this here rocket man. Good. Die, David Bowie! Die! Sit in your grave, you will like it. Good, whoops, Look out of the screen. Nice. Okay, so nobody ate my star potion. Oh, that's embarrassing. Let's just continue feeding them star potions. All right, all of our fish are now starfish, which is awesome because we can get a few of these here star collectors. Very nice, I like. I actually love these uh, star collectors because they, they dump all of their diamonds to the top of the screen. Whoa, look at all the money. This mermaid is absolutely fantastic, I love her. Let's get more of these, more of these star collectors. Because these diamonds, they are worth so much. They're worth about 20 bucks. Yep, they're worth 200, sorry, not 20. Jesus. We'll obviously get another one, I think. As soon as we can buy more of them, we'll just keep buying them until they starve. And I think that when the mermaid sings, we're also going to be absolutely just dumped with stars, which means we're gonna be dumped with even more of these star collectors. Okay, I'll take that one, I'll take that one, I'll take that one, and then I'll take that one. I, I, apparently I dropped, oh my God! So many stars! Okay, good. Let's get more of these guppies. Okay, good. We probably need to increase the amount of food that we're dumping at any, any given time now. Let's go, we can just upgrade that a few times. Get all of these here. Diamonds, gorgeous. We'll get them all up to a, a good star level. Oh yeah, I'm a goddamn star boy. Okay, we need to get him away from the fish because his rockets are very sporadic. Please don't blow my fish! Hey, do we all like, um, do we all like fish sticks here? I want to work out, but no gym takes miners. 
Whoa, seriously? That it's not only it's it, it, it's not only possible here in my country of New Zealand, but it's it's encouraged. It's encouraged for miners to get into gyms and start exercising early. Although that's probably a gift and a curse, because when you're about 14 years old, if you like do heavy exercise and weightlifting and stuff like that before about 14 years old, you'll grow up to be a really skinny guy like me. I have a lot of trouble putting muscle on. My legs are super thin, like super, super duper thin, uh, because I did a lot of martial arts when I was growing up, uh, which means I had to do a lot of throwing and lifting, which does require some good leg muscles. In judo, specifically. But when I was uh, kind of like getting into weightlifting, I found that my legs could not put muscle on. And now, I, I think today I am going to be moving on to... 325 on the leg press? No, 335 kilos. I'll be doing that tonight. Uh, four sets of six. My, everyone looks at me when I get on the leg press like I'm gonna hurt myself as well. And then they kind of like change their mind as soon as they see, oh, he can actually lift those weights. That's unexpected, that kind of thing. I like fish sticks. What are you, DJ, a gay fish? <laughs> I got him. All right, we got, a, we got an alien coming in here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys call them fish sticks? Uh, sometimes it actually really depends on the brand. We can also call them fish fingers. Which is probably less gay than fish sticks. Ha! Got him! Got him! Why are you feeding them the things that the machine dispenses and exoperable money? What, pharmaceutical pills? I'm feeding them that because it's steroids. This is what you feed to chickens to get them to grow really, really big. Okay, we need 30 grand to get the final egg. We could probably upgrade our laser gun to get through the boss phases faster. Let's actually do that. What's the maximum upgrade? Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh my God. You can upgrade it 10 times. That is a money dump if I ever saw one. Let's do it again. Okay, good. We've got the best gun money can buy now, which is kind of weird because we don't necessarily need it. All right, we're getting all of these diamonds at an alarming rate. Let's get a bunch of these star catchers. And instead of feeding these fish, we are probably going to go ahead and just, oh my god, I, my auto clicker can't even keep up with the scale of wealth. We're just going to go ahead and feed them the star potions again, because we can afford to do so. Jesus, we're getting money fast. We just got 10 grand off of that last mermaid song. Christ on a crutch. Okay, get all of these diamonds, and I think now is probably a good time for these star potions. There we go, yep, the fish are getting hungry. Uh, some of them are going to die, but that is in fact a sacrifice I am willing to make. Here we go. Some of them are dying. Excellent. Love that. Love that for us. Oh my god. Okay, there it is. Let's knock this guy into the corner, take out his rockets. Wow, that gun is potent. Oh my god, that is a lot of money. Okay, we need more of these star catches, right? <laughs> I think that's a little bit too many. <laughs> Oh my god! Look at all the money! I think we've broken this mission, honestly. Did anyone here watch Number Jacks? I did not. I did not watch Number Jacks. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a, a children's show for, for mathematicians? I haven't seen it. Uh, well, I learned most of my like history of math and stuff from uh, Philomena Kunk. Kunk on Earth. Which do you think is better? The Bible or the Koran? You mean the Quran? Ah, so that settles it then. I love that so much. Okay, we probably don't have enough of these star catches. Oh my god, the money! We are so close to getting this goal as well, by the way. Whew. Nice. I think it was just a British thing. We kind of a, uh, we are a crown entity here in New Zealand. We are technically still under the monarchy, which means that if we ever need like an army or something, Britain is supposed to send its armies to help us. That, it, I'm pretty sure that's basically the only thing that it affects these days. Because it used to be kind of like a trade thing, and now it's not so much because Britain does not pay good, uh, reasonable prices for uh, New Zealand's agriculture and stuff like that, which is, is supposed to be 25% of our GDP. Here he is! Okay, I literally couldn't see what he was doing past all of these stars. We're going to need more of these star catches. We can get the egg. Let's do it. We got Wadsworth the Whale. Wadsworth helps by sheltering your baby and medium guppies from hungry aliens. That is a useless ad. Jesus Christ, I think that is a horrible, horrible ad. How did Lincoln getting assassinated affect his ability to lead? Um, well, he had lots of leadership in his brain, and when the bullet went through it, that leading turned into leading. So that was the issue that Abraham Lincoln basically faced, unfortunately. Okay, bonus round. Oh, you're quoting, um, <laughs> Philip Kirk. I completely forgot about that. 
Okay, let's get all of these shells. I don't want to waste a single one. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to miss a shell. Because I'm frugal, baby. And I don't want to lose a dime. And if and when I dream of fish poos. The Swedish fish poos. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with that song. But kept it. Kept it like Tupac. What's our new balance? Okay, we still don't have anywhere enough. Gee, how the hell is anyone supposed to get 20 grand? How? Actually, there is a thing. If we go into the virtual tank, so this is kind of like a relaxing wallpaper thing. We can go into the store and we can actually buy fish, right? The hell? This fish has developed a taste for exotic food. That's not helpful. What is about this one? Take care of this fish and she'll give you a baby fish at no extra charge. Okay, done. Okay, we can't afford it. It's five grand. This one here is specially trained not to eat store-bought guppies. He grabs out diamonds. I'm gonna get him. We wanna name him. What do we wanna name him? I don't think my melatonin's working. Nobody's melatonin works. I used to take supplements for it and it still wouldn't do anything. Uh, we need a name for the fish. Come on, chat. What is what is the name for the fish gonna be? Do you want some options? There could be Pooper McButtface, Boaty McBoatface, um, Butt McPoopers. There could also be potentially uh, uh, Gregory Henderson. Or something like that. Maybe. Maybe Deet Skeeter as well. No, all of those are too long. Come on, we need a name. We need a name. We need a name. Name him Insom Aquarium. It's the stream watching that's keeping you up, dude. Yeah, it probably is actually. Okay, I'll name him Insom. Just in. I'll, I'll, I'll put Insom in the game, okay? It's canon now. Insom is now in the game. Even though he literally haunts my analytics. Like the ghost of YouTube's past. I don't know how he does it. He always just pops up in my feed so much. What about this guy? What is this guy up to? Choose from a dazzling array of colors. Okay, you know what? You know you want one. Okay, I'm going to name this one Red Rux. Because it is a little bit fruity. Very colorful. Oh, we have to feed it though. Yucky! Okay, we've got Insim. We've got Red Rux. Look at them. Two peas in a pod. This is significantly less stressful than the last one. What's this? This is insane aquarium. Oh no, Insom's about to die. I thought he was, I thought he doesn't. What? I thought he doesn't eat the in-game fish. I think they lie. Eat it. Oh, that was so close. Insom almost just died in our fish tank. Maybe because you're subscribed to him. I'm, that's the thing though. I've only been subbed to him for like a month only to see what he's up to because he does play fun games and I also want to play some of them. Okay, let's go back to the actual game. <laughs> that was dull as hell. Ooh, would you look at that? Almost half the game basically slammed through. We like the mermaid, we like Clyde, we like the snail. Done. Oh. Oh, Bruce, uh, you mentioned a game request to me yesterday. What was it called? Because I checked it out. I checked it out, and not only... Not only was it made by... We Create Stuff, which is the game company who made the Portal mod we just played, and also, I think it was Afraid of Monsters and Cry of Fear? It was either that or Nightmare House, one of the two. I also own it. It's 40 bucks, I must have gotten it free in a Humble Bundle or something like that. It's overwhelmingly positive as well. In Sound Mind, yes! I, I check it out, it's in my library. I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna play it at some point. I think I did get it in a Humble Bundle, but I don't know when the hell I would've. Okay, we've already got our first few guppies. We're already crapping out some of those delicious silver coins that we love so much. Can we get another one before the angel sings? Let's see. Okay, now we can feed these fish. Great. We couldn't afford food for a split second there, which is a really New Zealand problem these days. But we are kind of managing regardless. Okay, got another couple of coins here. We probably want to fat max, right? Until we get as many of these um, plump fish as we possibly can. Before this lady sings. Okay, another food right there. Damn it! Oh, so close. We've got an enemy approaching. It won't tell us what this enemy is, however, unfortunately. Let's get another guppy. It's probably a bad time to get a guppy. Oh, it's just one of these Piscenators. Oh, well. Die! Die, thing! Good. Okay, I put a food in the tank. Everyone's going to race to go and get it. I also just bought two more guppies. Which may have been irresponsible, given the fact that we can't feed the ones we have, but... Such is life! <laughs> is this racist? There's like a little bonsai tree in the background, and also a, uh, maybe... 
600 BC chapter. What the hell is this? Buy a guppy cruncher. Why the hell would I want that? A guppy cruncher. Oh, here's the money. Nice. Okay, good. We probably need to increase the amount of food that we dump at any given time. Oh, one star. Okay, we'll do that now. And then we'll increase the nutritional content of it. Ah. I've never heard of that game. I'm a get it. looks real cool. It is 40 bucks, which is why I was saying I already own it. Ginsu did check out the portal game list I sent you. Yes, it was very thorough. I'm definitely going to be playing all of the canon entries. I've already played two of them, it looks like. And from memory, there were five, right? The non-canon ones, I think I'll probably put into their own kind of playlist. But I probably will get to them when we start running low on games regardless. However, I don't know if you guys have noticed, we haven't been running low on awesome games to play. Okay, we've got another monster coming in. It's an enemy. It's not actually anything nasty, it seems. It is a Pisceta. We gotta kind of like flick him in between these two fish because there's one dickhead over in the corner. No, don't go near him! Oh, you idiot! Okay, let's get a guppy cruncher, see what it does. Does it actually try and eat these guppies? Is that actually a thing? Oh my god, it jumps up and eats them! That is so cool! What does it what does it do though? There's a golden scarab. We probably should be feeding our fish realistically. Okay, good, done. We don't have any star potions, so it seems like it's just a, a war of attrition at this point. Oh, is he just going to eat any of them? Whoa, those golden scarabs are worth quite a bit, actually. Okay, we'll upgrade the quantity again twice. What is the scarab worth? Crap another one out, then, friend. What is it? 305 to 445! It's 150 bucks! Whoa! I love these things. We're going to get a bunch of them, I think. Let's just get a bunch more of these guppies so that we have ample food for the little crunchy crab down at the bottom there. That is a lot of money. 150 bucks at a time. That's heaps. I wonder if the mermaid affects it as well. Okay, good. Get that scarab right there. And the scarabs go up as well, which is really useful. I don't see any additional scarabs. It seems like it's only coins that he craps out. Mm. So that's going to be a little bit sus. Okay, let's get two more guppies. We're gonna have to keep like a good load of these fish in here though. We just gotta keep the enemies off of the floor, right? Okay, where is it? There it is. Oh, you dick. He's already eating our fish. Okay, that one died from Darwinism. There's another one about to die from Darwinism. Uh, we saved him just in the nick of time. Let's increase the nutritional content because it seems like we're not gonna get a lot of coins if these guppy crunches are eating all of our good guppies. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Looks like we're doing pretty well, actually. We need three grand to make it to the next phase. We could probably actually just make that with what we've got now, but I am going to sink all of the money that we have into... No, we should probably just go into fish because this mermaid is insanely potent. We'll spend all of our money on guppies. Definitely. <sighs> crunch those guppies, daddy. Okay, I'll crunch those guppies. The potato sack is going to be annoying to get through, but they're cannon, so it's more like 18 games. Okay. I'll, I'll give them a go. I'll give them a go. My eyes. Yeah, I know. I did open the stream, like, warning everybody. This game is going to be hideously ugly. So every Wednesday, we're going to be playing kind of like an, another retro game like this. And I don't think we'll play the same one twice, honestly. Unless we can kind of, like, get through the second round in a single sitting. Okay, we've got lots of money coming. Yeah, we. D I think we definitely don't want those guppy crunches yet. I think we definitely just want to dump into guppies. Okay, that was probably a little bit extreme. Oh no, we don't have enough feed to feed all these fish. Oh yes we do, what am I talking about? Alright, we've got an enemy approaching. We just gotta keep him off of the floor. And then the guppy crunchers will keep on uh, feeding on. Okay. Oh no, don't eat a guppy cruncher! Yeah, yeah, they eat guppy crunchers. Warning, your, your guppy cruncher has died. I don't really think that guppy crunchers are really our main concern at this point. I feel like the fish with the mermaid combination is is just incredibly potent. In fact, we probably don't even need the snail and Clyde collection. Stinky the snail and Clyde the... Clyde the... Uh, what is he? He's, he's kind of like a, a jellyfish, but he's always eternally pissed off. All right, we've almost got enough to finish the mission. Great. Holy hell, I know, yes. Bejeweled next? No, we're doing uh, From Dust next. That is going to be the next retro game that we play. Well, after From Dust, yes. Uh, most likely. Maybe. Vigil was, like, Peggle is also one of those games that were quite retro. Ironically, Minecraft also fits into the schema of the retro games. It looks hideous, and people uh, were playing it when they were kids, who are now fully grown adults. But I think we will just go a little bit more nuclear. 
We might do our first Morrowind playthrough on a retro day as well. Okay, I don't want these Guppy Crunches anymore. They're kind of useless. Guppy Crunches and Carnivores share the same diet. I couldn't give two hoots. Okay, we've got enough money and done. We got Seymour the Turtle. Seymour's presence makes all coins and diamonds drift at a slower rate. Oh, that's nice, actually. That's nice. It'll be funny to watch you try and play Dress to Impress for a video. Is that is that a game? Is that actually a game? Oh, Last Stand as well. Those ones are definitely going to be retro games that we play. The Last Stand series. I kind of... Let's try them out. Let's try them out. We'll get... Okay, the Guppy Crunches don't appear to be very useful when we have this mermaid here, who I definitely think we should always have on hand at all times. Stinky, definitely going to be an option because bottom of the tank. Probably going to be a good... No, let's get Clyde, actually, instead of Stinky, and then we'll slow down the coins so that Clyde can just collect them all. I think this is going to be a good build. Okay. So the turtle's presence should slow down the falling speed of everything, right? It's a Roblox game. Okay, maybe I'll give it a go. Maybe I won't. I do want to open up, like, public Roblox lobbies. That is something I want to do. Okay, we've got another guppy. Good. They do fall significantly slower, and Clyde is actually getting them. That is beautiful. I love that. Okay, so with this kind of, like, turtle and Clyde combo, we don't necessarily need to worry about collecting the coins unless we have just a billion guppies in the tank, which we will have. Okay, I'll get that one. I'll buy another guppy. Yes! Grab the money for me! Clyde can definitely reach those in time. Beautiful! Okay, this is a pretty good synergy so far. We've got the mermaid. She's going to sing every now and then. I think it's got like a minute cooldown, which is pretty... That's pretty It's pretty long to wait. But she does make everyone crap money at the same time. We are crapping out coins slower with the turtle. And Clyde is collecting all of the closest coins possible. So we do have a really, really good build here going. I don't think we worry too much about the guppy crunches. I think we'll just get one. We'll get one. We'll get one of them so that we can kind of like skip through the next phase of the stores. Uh, let's get some more potent food. Fatten up our fish a little bit faster. We'll fat max a little bit. Uh, we've got a G-type coming, so we definitely need to collect all of these. Don't starve, please. <laughs> Excellent. Eat the food, you asshole! What are you doing? Don't eat my fish! This guy's a dick right at the start of the game, honestly. I don't know. I don't think I like him. We need to lure him away from our fish. All right, got him. And we also got a diamond for that, which would allow us to get two more guppies. Okay, good. We got more guppies. Unfortunately, we kind of bit the dust a little bit on a couple of guppies. But probably the first time in a while. Does Left 4 Dead 2 count as a retro game? Uh, no, it does not. The first one, possibly, but it's still too high fidelity for uh, the kind of feel that I'm going for, the retro games. It would be more of a focus game. Yeah, I definitely agree as well. I definitely agree. We'll go for the kind of like one and done it's on the Wednesday. We'll just do one real big stream. We'll get heaps and heaps of uh, playtime in one of those games that just stimulates nostalgia. Okay. I'm going to make a big balls move and buy seven more fish. <laughs> Was this a bad idea? We're about to find out. Uh, we kind of desperately need to upgrade our food supplies. Oh my God, our fish are starving. Please don't stop. Oh, that was so close. Okay, we need the nutritional content next, I think. No. No, we need to uh, maximize the amount of food that we're deploying at this point. So let's get these coins. We'll upgrade it. We can't upgrade it just yet. So close, so close, so close. Almost. Uh, we'll do it now. And maybe fish won't starve. Okay, that worked in our favor. Whoa, they sit on the bottom of the tank a, a lot easier as well. Okay, good. We got a lot of coins falling. We got 500 bucks out of that one. That was pretty good. All right, we've got another G type coming in. That's the one we fed. Let's go ahead and, ahead and just upgrade this. This food as fast as possible. <laughs> and then we'll just consistently feed him until he bursts. Nice, there we go. That's what I like to see. A dead enemy. All right, we'll get all of this food. We are getting the large fish now. Let's go ahead and just buy this guppy. What the hell is that? A beetle muncher. Okay, they must eat the guppy catcher things, right? All right, fine. I'll feed the guppy catchers then, I suppose. But I'm not going to worry too much about the guppy catchers at all. Okay, good. Oh, nice! A lot of money coming in hot and heavy. Fresh off the press. Whoops, I clicked outside the game. It's embarrassing. Ooh, it's really easy to do. I showed everybody right at the start of the game the resolution that I'm working with. It's not <laughs> It's not generous. It's, it's like this big. It's a tiny one. Box muncher? Dude. Dude. Uh, we could probably actually play Left 4 Dead 2 as like a voted game. Or I could play it in my spare time on the Mondays and Tuesdays where I pick the games. 
Okay, I'm gonna get more of these things. I'm gonna get one of these beetle munches, and hopefully he's gonna eat the beetle on the screen and not just start. Okay, oh, we just missed it. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we need 1,500 bucks to get all of the egg pieces, and we don't need guns at all. What the hell? This thing craps pearls? Oh, that is potent. Oh, that is potent. Does it crap when the mermaid sings, though? That is my next immediate question. Okay, let's get a few more of these guppies. Probably wasn't the time to do it then. All right, good. It seems like he does actually prefer the pills over the fish, which is really, really nice. I think they do. I think they are actually... Okay, let's get another one of these things so it craps out the the pearls at a faster rate. I think the mermaid does actually affect him. Okay, that's not good. Probably need another guppy muncher or two. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these bad boys in there. It's probably going to die, though, realistically. Oh, Zeus is cock! Look at all this money! Good grief! Okay, we've already got five grand. I shouldn't have taken those two uh, guppies. What the hell? Oh, one of them died, unfortunately. That sucks. That sucks to see. That really sucks to see. I'll try and dump more food here. Then we'll get some more food to dump. Get that pearl right there, because it's really lucrative. And now we will get more of these guppies, and we'll get a couple of these guppy crunches, and we will try and get some of these beetle munches right after that as well. Uh, we probably actually want to start feeding all these creatures down the bottom of the tank now too, don't we? So that we get the most beetles that we can possibly manage. We'll get another one of these beetle munches here. Okay, I definitely think the mermaid affects these guys, the, the one that craps the pills. I don't even know what they're called, box munches? Beetle munches. Oh, thanks, Red Rux, who guessed let me to thinking they were actually called box munches. I can't unsee it. I've, I haven't got this far in the game before, so all of this is new to me. Okay. Let's get another couple of upgrades for here. <laughs> eat the food, not the fish! Eat the food, not the fish! Excellent. Okay, some of these little guppy munches are getting really, really... I think they die. Oh, a couple of them survived. That's lucky. All right, good. Wow, look at all this money. That is a lot of money, by the way. We're generating so much of it. It's actually hard to keep up now. We probably want the snail back here if we're going to be doing the combination with the mermaid. Oh, instead of the... What else we got? We got the turtle, don't we? We got the turtle, we got the mermaid, and we also got Clyde the, the jellyfish, who doesn't actually appear to be very good. We probably do want... Yeah, Clyde keeps whiffing, grabbing the coins based on the verticality. So, okay, we can now finish the mission. Shrapnel robot fish drops bombs that blow up fish on contact, but gives lots of cash when clicked. What? What? Do we want to use this? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. We'll get Stinky the Snail. We'll get this mermaid because they're an excellent combination. Do we want to try out this here shrapnel bomb thing? Maybe. That blow up fish on contact. Actually, that's not something we want, is it? We don't want him to blow fish up on contact. No, we won't go with that. We'll go with the turtle and the snail and also the sea mermaid. What's his name? Seymour. Seymour the turtle. Okay, good. We're back in the Japanese tank. Or Japanese theme tech. I mean, for all I know, we're in the middle of America. Probably are, actually. That's where PopCap's located. Did you guys know that EA bought PopCap? The guys that made this game? Oh, Chuzzle! That's a game we need to play. Chuzzle was awesome. I love Chuzzle so much. I still play it, actually. Chuzzle 2 came out, and they added kind of like a, a campaign mode for it. Okay, let's feed our fish now. We'll get this other guppy. And we should snowball our economy very, very shortly. I think we can get to like... Oh, damn it. She sang. Okay, so I think the mermaid might actually be a little bit randomized. Possibly. We'll get another guppy. I don't recognize Chuzzle. Look it up. It's, it's got one of the cutest aesthetics in a puzzle game I think I've ever seen. Like, there's no game that even comes close. And I first played in like 2008, I think. Fun fact, there is two Team Fortress 2s. Really? Oh, you're talking about the orange box? I have the orange box on disc somewhere. Okay, we're feeding all of our fish. We can get another one. Let's get another one. We'll inflate our economy. And we're also inflating our fish. Okay, we need one more of these fish to actually grow. Uh, we've got a P-type alien coming. What the hell is P-type? Right, everyone, pee in the tank. Whoa, that is a... Yeah, that is a... That is an octopus with cooking utensils. We have to stop shooting. It's regaining health. 
We gotta move it away from our fish though. Okay. What an annoying boss. Okay, now we've got a reason to upgrade our- Seriously, fish? Seriously? Get away from the octopus! What an idiot. What an actual idiot. I'm here to get my orange box munched. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Ooh, okay. Okay, we'll get three more of these fish because we need them and now we need to feed all these fish. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay, we don't actually have enough to get the... <laughs> I see you guys put the emojis in the chat. <laughs> what if the... Uh... It, oh, it definitely picks up on it. Okay, good. I was wondering if the chat bar at the side was picking up on it, and it most certainly is. Okay, let's get more nourishment. Uh, now we'll go for a higher quantity of food that we can put in the tank. Stinky is already going for that coin right there. I won't worry about it too much. Good. Okay, Meryl is singing. Let's get all these coins while all of the money falls to the ground. And also that one there. We'll deploy this one. We'll deploy another fish food, and then we'll go ahead and upgrade the quantity so that we're not worried about our fish starving to death. Okay, good. So I do think the workflow seems to be you get the first level of nourishment, right? You get the first level of nourishment and then you go for uh, adding another kind of like polyp? No. Pustule? No. What are they called? Pellet. You'll add another pellet to the amount that you can place. That is a good workflow. And then you dump back into the nourishment like so. All right, good. We are dealing with the mermaid singing. I think the snail is significantly better than Clyde, you know. Okay, we got another P type coming in. That is disgusting. I wonder what makes this alien a, a P type. Does it pee? I mean, maybe it inks. Maybe it inks at some point. All right, it's not. It's not angry with us. Does it eat the fish while it's regaining health? No, piss off! Seriously? What a dick move! I can't believe that. He just ate two of our fish. He literally just ganked them as well. Seriously, man? Okay, he deserves to be eaten. Let's get him away from there. Whoa! He does like a huge dash whenever he's... Why is that fish... No, okay. One of our fish just committed seppuku. That's just obnoxious. I actually hate that. Ooh! I am made of hate for that. Okay, let's dump all of our food into guppies. We'll get six more fish. One of our fish committed seppuku. That is really annoying. That is super duper obnoxious. Okay, seems like we are not inflating many of our new fish very well. Uh, looks like Meryl is singing, so we should get a lot of cash all at once. Excellent, we've got 500 bucks. Probably want to get one of those munches, right? One of those guppy munches in the tank here. I know we're losing a bunch of money by trying to feed all these fish. But it is working out. Ooh. Oof. Yeah, oof is right. Oh my god, Bruce. I can't believe that fish just swam into that octopus. Unless you were talking about the annoying dash that it did, where it just railed, uh, like, two fish. Two actual cash cow fish. Okay, let's get a couple more fish so that our little guy at the bottom of the tank can eat it. We'll feed all of the fish down here. Oh, nice. Excellent. 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 Love to see it. Okay, good. We need to use the auto clicker to get all of this money, unfortunately. We don't have a choice. Get that little golden scarab right there. Nice! Okay, so, next thing we want is probably, realistically, going to be some kind of gun upgrade. Because, honestly, this octopus is a pain in the ass to fight. I think he is just going to rail all of... Okay, he's eating one of our fish right now. Good, he ate two of our fish. Nice. Love that. Gotta stop shooting at him. Because he's regaining health. There's another fish here willing to commit seppuku. Never mind, he's thought twice. He's thought, you know what? Maybe life isn't so bad. Maybe life inside of this tank is not actually all that bad. Okay. He just... He's serious. Oh my god, he just ate our... Uh, I can't believe that. He just ate our muncher. Oh, that is so frustrating. Okay, maybe don't, we don't worry about these munchers. Maybe we just worry about the fish. Because it seems like Meryl is... Uh, this guy sucks! I feel like that fish right now. No, no, you should never feel like that fish. There's always there's always a reason to not swim into the gaping maw of a hungry octopus. There's always a reason. Ooh, I have a retro game suggestion. Well, don't blow my balls, Scott. Give, <laughs> let me know what it is. <laughs> if you'll pardon my, my meaning. Okay, we are definitely going to dump into the gun. We are definitely going straight into gun as soon as we can now. Hopefully we'll get the mermaid to sing again. 
before we kind of like bite the dust on another one of those octopus failures. We didn't get that scarab. I thought the uh, thing was going to eat it, annoyingly. There we go. He ate it. Let's go ahead and buy some more of these guppies. We've got 870. Nice! Oh, yes. Yes! Measure beyond wealth, Outlander. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Okay, we've got another pearl here. These things crap out pearls pretty quickly, actually. Let's go ahead and just get more of these guppies. Okay. How's this? Do, do we think that this is good enough? Oh, no. That's a bad time for our P-type. I accidentally just collected the scarab. That's not good. Get all that fish over here if we can. Damn it. Okay, we'll keep this thing away from our muncher at all costs. Okay. We only want to leave our gun down here so that he doesn't move. Okay, we've got another fish about to commit Spooku. There he goes. Into the gate and more of the... Okay, he just ate our muncher. Munchers are not worth it once you have to deal with this horrible boss right here. Okay, good. He doesn't restore that much health, actually. Okay, we'll start dumping into the gun, honestly. That was just such an absolute garbage pain in the ass to deal with. What are we going to have to max out the amount of feed we can put in the tank as well, even though we are losing lots and lots of money on the feed. Look at how much we are gaining with this mermaid! Jesus! That is so much money. I love it. I actually love that. Okay, good. And with this, we're going to buy a, f a couple more guppies. Not too many, though. <laughs> I lied. We're going to have heaps and heaps of guppies. I don't think we can feed them fast enough. <laughs> actually, with the maxed out food that we can dump into here. We may have just done a bit of a whoopsie. And as soon as the mermaid sings, we won't be able... The screen will literally be covered in money. We won't be able to uh, do anything. Oh, my God. No! Okay, we'll get all of this money. Zeus is cock. We can't keep up. All right, I think that was a good instance to have had Clyde. Maybe we do want Clyde over the snail. The snail is a little bit slower. I just don't like how Clyde chases all the coins, uh, kind of like horizontally zigzagging, because the fish can't move up and down. I'm pretty sure it... A sea, uh, not a seahorse, a, um, what are they called? The, uh, all right, we got another one. Let's go ahead and dump into this gun really quickly. And then we'll get all of this money and feed all of our fish as we go as well. Okay, let's try and kill this thing before it eats any fish. It's eating two of them at once, nice. Can we just maintain firing on this thing and it'll just die? Let's see. Let's see how long we can keep it in the corner before it just dies. Okay, another fish here is probably going to get eaten. It just got eaten. That sucks. Statistically, it was bound to happen, and there's another one that's about to die. Okay, we can't actually shoot at it while it's regenerating the health. It does make a big difference. It's going to get out of there. Uh, we can only use the gun to, like, redirect it, right? That's it. Get it away from the lowest common denomination. Okay, we got a diamond. That was not worth it. But look at all this money. Holy hell, we have got so much money, I don't know what to do with it. Like, I literally have... Oh, no, we won't be able to feed our fish. They, some of them may starve. But that is a risk I am willing to take. All right, nice. Look at all this money. The game is actually... I see it dip in a couple of frames because of the, It's such an old game. I don't think it should be able to generate all of this. Okay, good. We'll also feed our fish. We should probably feed our fish instead of just collecting this money and then let the snail handle it. Okay, we need 22,000 buckery boos to get ourselves the whole egg, it seems. And we should probably dump into the gun again so we can just one-tap the octopus, right? Okay, this is going well. We'll get all of the gun upgrades that we can possibly manage. Oh, my God. Oh, no! Oh, the frames! My auto-clicker can't keep up! Okay, I'll just do the bottom of the screen, and then I'll feed a bunch of fish. Then we'll go back to the bottom of the screen. We'll do it in kind of, like, sequential order. Good. We are collecting... Holy hell, we've got a lot of money coming. Let's get the last two upgrades of this gun. And now we should be able to basically one-tap that octopus every time it comes in. I think the strategy is basically just to be to keep it in the corner. And I still think we should just ignore the specials. The special fish in here. Okay, we got another octopus coming into the fray. Let's see how fast we kill it. Okay. We didn't kill it fast enough. None of the fish are running away. Probably going to get eaten. These two are going to get eaten, definitely. Boom, boom, into your face! Doesn't really seem like the gun has any difference. If you upgrade it or not. Alright, good. Let's not feed our fish. Let's just collect all of this money thanks to the mermaid. She may actually end up crippling us in the long run. 
which is kind of funny. I feel like the amount of money that we're making now completely offsets the need for having the special fish. Okay, let's feed our fish a little bit. Ooh. Okay, what have we got? Maybe Fireboy and Water Girl? Uh, that is a film, isn't it? The game Alchemy by Popcat? Maybe. Maybe. I do like the Popcat games. They are actually fun, even though they are now an EA entity. EA actually does make fun games, I hate to say it. It's just a, a shame that they bought Maxis, and then they ran that into the ground, and also the Sid Meier's franchise. They bought that, and now all of the games are kind of like not being made at all, like Monkey Island and Sid Meier's Golf Course Simulator, stuff like that. That was really cool. Money? Yes, money. ASMR? Well, it's just beeping. I use my abandoned web all the time to play lots of lost games online, but I don't know how safe their downloads are. Uh, that's what I use, actually. Um, I do quite like them simply because my abandoned web actually do do their due diligence. Sorry for all the Ds in that sentence, um, but how about as a retort, you take the Ds nuts if you don't like them. Broke it up, boss. Um, my abandoned web do actually vet whether or not the games that they put up on there are Creative Commons, uh, Public Domain, or anything like that. Which is fantastic. That is just a public service. Okay, we've got this here octopi. We're probably going to have to whale on it so it doesn't eat all of those fish. Damn it, it just ate like six fish. All of that for a single gem is just not worth it. At all. Oh, we can actually beat the level. Done. Now we've got Gumbo the Angler. Gumbo attracts guppies using the lantern on his head, luring them away from uh, aliens. That's kind of cool, actually. That would be really handy. Ooh, well, never mind. Apparently they added it to EA's launcher. What, my abandoned wear? Really? Now it's a game as well, which is retro. What, Fireboy and Water Girl? No, that's not retro. That's like Spy Kids retro. That's like mid 2000s. So we'll, th this game came out in like 2001, maybe even. No, because this was able to be played on Windows 98, so it had to have been before that. Maybe. If we get real low on ideas, we'll start taking like post 2005 games. I don't know why they haven't put it on Steam though. They don't want to. EA is actually really lazy as a developer. They just kind of have like, they'll put some games up on Steam and then ignore all of the others and just kind of like not tell anyone that they're just ending end of life support for it. Okay. Gumbo the Angler. So we can use this one to lure the fish away from aliens, which is not actually particularly helpful to us. We probably actually want the slowing of gems easier. And we also want Meryl. And I think Clyde is probably the best bet for the gigantic spam of money that uh, just happens at the end of the the levels, right? Because the snail is good early. The snail is good early. I feel like Clyde might be better for kind of like the later stage of the level. All right, that fish just missed out on that food. I don't really care about that. But yeah, a lot of the PopCap games, there are some PopCap games that did actually get published to Steam. Very few of them didn't. Peggle got published to Steam. Chuzzle never got published to Steam. I'm pretty sure that was always like a mobile game or something like that. The only British retro game I can think of is Granny's Garden. Everyone played in primary school? In primary school. What was that, six years ago? Is that six years ago? Because back when I was uh, in, like, intermediate, people were playing games like Motherload or the Thing Thing games or Frank's Adventure. With, I, I am not streaming that. <laughs> it's not a game that I can stream. Frank's Adventure is, is less is less this and more this, right? It's it's more of an adult game, an adult experience. So probably not going to be streaming that one. What retro to you? What's retro to me? Uh, retro to me is kind of like before 2005, like really, really jank, flimsy, pixelated games. That's what I consider retro. If the games do not give you RSI and at the same time hurt your finger, <laughs> then you're probably not playing a retro game. Like Doom, the first Doom. Type U, what the hell is this? Is this just the Clayman? What is he doing? What the hell? Oh my god, okay, he doesn't eat them. He just kind of fires these orbs and we gotta fire them back at him, I think? He's gonna ruin our entire tank. Okay, good, that actually does work. How many times do we need to do this though? Get him into that corner over there. Okay, you only have to hit him three times with his orbs. That's pretty generous. Gotta be said, that is actually fairly generous. Okay, let's upgrade the nutritional content of our food and we'll buy a guppy. Excellent. Woo! I go 2009 and earlier. I'm old. I'm going to be 30 in a month. So I probably can't get away with, like, what I would consider retro, most people would just consider archaic. Yesterday, Epic Flying Horse, who's probably maybe, a, I'd say a year younger than me, he would consider retro to be, like, Nintendo 64. 
which I, I'm not streaming Nintendo 64 games at all. That is going to be such a pain in the ass to get working. There's no way. Granny's Gun came in around 1992, I think. Jesus, that is old. You're right. Uh, Doom, I know Doom. I know Doom is a very popular one, the original Doom, because it surpassed Microsoft. Uh, which one was it? I think it was, yeah, Windows. Doom surpassed Windows in the downloads in, to, in 1994, which is my birth year. Which is pretty crazy, actually. The downloads of Doom surpassed uh, copies of Windows downloaded in 1994. A weird little statistic. You guys can add that to your little repertoire of, of what you need to hear. Okay, good. We got money coming out. Good. We got a grand. Let's spend it on a billion fish. Damn, that was a bad time to buy those fish. Oh no, some of them are gonna starve as well. Piss! Okay, so, what's your target? Right here. Let's go ahead and just fire this back at him. All right, good. Get that one out of the way. And fire those back at him. Good. I'm getting him into the corner. Apparently he killed two of my fish. It's a bit of a penis as well. Oh, we can just shoot him to death. Okay, so we don't actually need to do anything too nuclear with that guy. We just, we can just shoot him and deflect all of the orbs away from our fish. That's not so bad. Okay, we'll get as many of these as we possibly can so we can feed all of our fish. That thing is a fish killer though. That is a very, very potent enemy. Okay, we can now afford more food, but we can't afford the food itself. Now we can afford the food itself. Right, okay, we've got more fish on the boil. Probably not the way I should be saying that. What about virtual villages? Did anybody else play virtual villages? That'd be a really good one. I played the hell out of virtual villages. That was such a fun game. All right, what else we got? Or like Chicken Invaders? That's another really retro game. I think those are both pop caps as well. Maybe not Virtual Villages, but I know uh, Chicken Invaders was. Nintendo 64 emulation is extremely easy. Yeah, but the games themselves are really jank. They're really, really jank, and the whole point of them is to be hard. <laughs> you know, because uh, it was it was one of those things where gatekeeping a game wasn't necessarily like a bad thing yet. It wasn't a bad thing yet, and developers intentionally made their games incredibly difficult. I've played some Nintendo 64 games, they are insane. I found Granny's Garden on Abandoned Whip. Okay, I'll check it out, I'll check it out. I feel like we're probably gonna be playing a lot of The Sims 1 though. Like a lot of The Sims 1. Okay, we have to kill Clayman. Let's just start dumping all of this into him. We'll get these orbs away from our fish. There's one fish who's kind of like going close to him. Probably gonna, okay, I didn't expect that one. Okay. We'll fire those back at him. Done. He's not so bad. He's not so bad once you get the hang of him. Uh, we've got three grand. Let's go ahead and just upgrade the amount of food that we can dump and we'll buy one of these little guppy catchers. We'll get more guppies and then we'll save up for the guppy muncher, the old box muncher. Okay, I know I'm dumping food left, right and center, but when she sings her siren song, we have money everywhere. Whoops, I, no, I, I had to take that scarab. All right, we got two grand. Let's buy this uh, little beetle catcher here. Good, a little beetle juice. Beetle juice too. It's very sick. It's a very sick fish. Now it's fine. Excellent. Okay. We got a pearl. We got our first pearl. I love that. Good. We got two grand. We can need 30,000 buckery boos to get through this next phase. Whoops, I think I just stole the, um... I think I just stole this guy's food. That's embarrassing. Whoopsies! Oh well, not my problem. Uh, Gummy Cruncher is probably about to get really sick as well. I don't particularly give two hoots, because we have unlocked the egg. We've seen what the final goal is. Ah, let's just buy a few. What's the harm? Just a couple. All right, good, he's eaten. That's absolutely fine. Watch me here. Damn, we've got a lot of fish in here. Uh, let's go ahead and just upgrade all of our food placement, Max. Okay, I tried to get as much of the laser gun as I could possibly get. Probably get it again. Nice. Let's see what this does. Get away from my fish, you big dick. Okay, that's gonna kill a lot of fish. Damn it! Ouch! That hurts the old pride. But we can take him out in one go now. That feels good. Uh, what? Did I catch one of this guy's beetles? Oh, we probably need a couple more of these uh, munches, to be honest. Okay, we're pretty low on food now. I love how that guy crapped out a pearl before he died. That's pretty nice. Whoa! Money! Look at all the money. That's what I like to see. I feel like Mr. Krabs right now. Okay, good. I feel like the turtle is basically a necessity at this point as well. Okay, now that we've got so many fish, probably do with just... Gotta 
couple more guppy crunches and actually let's feed all of our guppy crunches by getting a bunch more guppies and now we're not going to worry about these guppy crunches at all ever again we're not going to get another few uh, we'll get an, one of these guys right here we'll just collect all of the money i feel like that is probably the best option okay something died it was just a fish but i think we've got too many and now we can't feed any nice what's clyde doing he's not really collecting a lot of coins to be honest Okay, maybe we don't really care too much about the coin collection creatures. We could probably do that ourselves, right? It's probably not terribly necessary to have these creatures doing it for us because they don't really grab as much as we would like anymore. As much as I like the automation of the collection of loot, probably not too helpful to us yet. All right, where is he? Where's he going to spawn? On the ground, obviously. There he is. Okay, what's he going to be targeting? Okay, that is going to kill so many fish. Damn. All right, let's blow this guy to smithereens. Whoa, okay. And half of our fish are dead. That's fine. We'll replace all of them. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much fish. <laughs> Jesus, I can't see anything! Okay, now is when Clyde is actually useful. When he's not going into the corner of the screen to collect a single item. What a twit. Clyde is actually a twit. Clyde the jellyfish, useless. Wow. One of my favorite games. Uh, I'm quite partial to the old Doom. The Silent Hill franchise is uh, right up there as well. I'm a bit of a sucker for the Cat Quest games. There are so many games. The Assassin's Creed, I, I like them all. Probably less Valhalla than every other Assassin's Creed game ever made. Even Brotherhood was better than Valhalla, and Brotherhood barely functions. Okay, we've got the song. The Siren is playing her song. We are auto-clicking all of these coins up into our pockets. We need to feed our fish, otherwise they'll starve. Then we can't fill our pockets even further. We need 30 grand. We're probably going to get another alien invasion. But hey, how does this sound? Let's mitigate the risk. And as soon as we get the alien spawn, if it does spawn, we'll dump all of our money into our gun. Right? We'll maximize the amount of damage that our gun does so he doesn't have a chance to fire off that other round. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, here they come. Let's get all of this money. Our fish are starving. We've maxed out our gun. <laughs> Sucks for this alien. Die, dickhead. Okay, well, that is a lot of dead fish. Okay, we didn't get him in a single go, though. Still, I we probably would have been best just to get him sooner rather than later. All right, the siren did her song right there. Our fish are now starving to death, so we should probably just focus full-time on feeding them. Whew. I'm pretty sure every PopCap game will be gone through eventually with the series, almost all of them, with this beautiful jank. Yes! Yes, we will definitely be doing that. It's bricks at the board game. What is that in reference to? Is it the money? Or is it kind of like the clay guy comes in and starts destroying uh, the livelihood of of us? A lowly landlord in this aquarium space. I never considered that, actually. I didn't realize that this was kind of like a Monopoly game. You could, you could probably consider this a Monopoly game. Nice, look at all these coins! All of them are golden. I love this. This is satisfying as hell. I really like this kind of gameplay. The, you know, like... The screen is just spammed with money that you can spend on upgrades. I love that gameplay loop. We've already got another 18 grand as well. In the pocket. Love this. We might be able to finish this game in a single sitting as well. Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, we are 10 grand away from our goal of getting the egg, which means we get another little wingle dingle of a fish. No idea what it's going to be, but we should probably focus on feeding other fish we have before we focus on what the next companion is going to be. Okay. Another one of these bloody... Okay, that was a terrible time to dump money, mermaid. Like an actual brain-dead time. Okay, we'll fire those into the wall. We killed three fish ourselves. That's embarrassing. Okay, Clyde was doing his best to collect the money. He didn't really get a lot of it. But we're very, very close to our goal. We're about 3,000 buttery booze away. Oh, look at all these coins. Yas, queen! Yas, queen! Gorgeous. Okay, let's hit all of these buttons. We are so close. If we get a mermaid song, we don't need to feed a single fish ever again. Could you imagine if we didn't have an auto clicker on this? Okay, we've got the egg. Blip the pedof- Oh no, uh, porpoise. That was close. I almost- <laughs> My dyslexia <laughs> flaming up. <laughs> I almost called him a Minecraft girlfriend. A Minecraft uh, YouTuber. Blip provides you with info that helps you better combat aliens and keep your fish fed. Provides you with info. Is he a tutorial? I mean, we've got to try him, obviously, but is he a tutorial? 
Now, really quickly, I'm just going to make sure that YouTube has actually set the stream to display the right game, because it often, it didn't. Okay. Insana Aquarium. Yeah, this game came out in 2001, according to uh, Steam. That's insane. That is actually crazy. Okay, we've got Blip the Portis. The Porpoise. <laughs> oh, so these middle ones. I think these middle ones have to be the ones that we get from the aquarium tank in here, right? All right, Redux is starving to death. Hilarious. Why don't you eat? Uh, we've got 246 shells in our pocket. What else we got? Uh, we're probably going to pets, right? Oh, perfect. Okay, let's put Zorf in there so we can feed Red Rux. And we probably also want Prego in there so she can feed Insim, right? We want to feed Insim. And we probably also want this bomb fish to kill everything. Let's actually see what this, what Blip does. What do you do, Blip? Okay, Red Rux is still very hungry. Insim? Okay, let's feed Insim. Okay, that kind of actually functions as intended. Okay, the porpoise isn't doing anything. Oh, this is dull. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the store. We get the Japanese background. I don't want it, necessarily. We can get a bunch of these fish. What else we got? We got pets. Uh, so, instead of this porpoise, because it sucks ass, let's just go ahead and... I don't know. Maybe there will be something to collect. I, we just don't know. Maybe we could get Clyde in there to collect some shells. Maybe they crap out shells. Okay, I'm going to get another fish. I'm going to call this one Pooper. Uh, and that's it. We've already sold that one fish. Check back tomorrow. What? Well, EA really started with their microtransactions early, huh? 2001. Compiling a list of every PopCap game with download links for the future. That is awesome. You're doing a, a great service there, Scott. Okay. Why did we get Pooper? And why is it... <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> I was about to say, why is the why is the music all gone? And then there was this big meaty fart. <laughs> Less funny the second time, but still absolutely delightful. Are they actually crapping things out? I saw Clyde pick something up. What was it? What did, what did Clyde just pick up? Huh. Okay, Red Rux and some, and of course, the beloved Pooper. That one kid in class when you fart. What, when I fart? I mean, you actually say that right. Okay, Pooper's not getting fed hilariously. <laughs> It looks like Insim is not going hungry, though. Look at that. He's eating all of those babies. Classic Insim, right? Yeah, uh, so I took a pre-trade in carpentry when I was around about 24 years old, right? No, maybe earlier, 23, possibly. Maybe even earlier than that. When I was in this class, there were fully grown adults that would be in there, and during a silent period, they would fart as hard as they could. And there was this one guy named George in that class who did this thing, he farted really hard, and then he sprinted out of the room. It was very obvious he crapped himself. But these are fully grown adults. I joined back. What did I get into? Well, Bruce, uh, we are currently in the uh, kind of like, what do we call this? The relaxing tank? <laughs> I don't know what to call it. The music has basically stopped while we're in here for some stupid reason. I feel like it's supposed to be kind of like a wallpaper or something like that. And some eats babies confirmed. Yeah, we're watching it happen in real time. We just watched him eat one then. You're still playing this? Yeah, yeah. We're actually very, very close to, um, to finishing it, which is very impressive. Okay, we can't buy that. Maybe we gotta buy one in between every single, every single adventure game, right? Okay, so let's go ahead with the awesome combination that was the mermaid, the turtle, right here. And we probably don't want these collection ones anymore. We probably want something a little bit more uh, end game, right? We, we probably want something a bit, a bit more functional, like shrapnel. No, that's just gonna kill everything. There's Gumbo. Let's try out Gumbo. Actually, no, let's try out the tutorial guy. Let's see what he does. Let's see what Blip does. Uh, oh, he shows when they're hungry. Oh my God, that is, oh, that is handy. Blip is OP. Blip is so overpowered. Look at Blip. He just skipped all of this crap for us. Nice, first coin. We'll just collect all the coins ourselves. I don't think it's really gonna make a huge difference, right? 
Okay, we'll feed both of these only when they need to be fed. We'll upgrade the food quality, of course, and then we'll take this fish's poo so that we can feed it some fish feed. Good. Eat your poo, fish. Ah, oh, nice. A little bit of a sing song right there. And I think we'll spend this on another guppy because we need to snowball the income, don't we? All right, we need to feed that thing. Good. Done. Excellent. Feed that one. Feed that one. Now we've got gigantic fish who are crapping out the big bucks. How much are the gold coins worth? 105 to 140. 35 bucks. That's not bad, actually. Uh, we'll keep doing that. We'll, we'll keep on going with this whole golden coin system that we that we have here. Because it seems like the guppy crunches, the box munches, as we like to call them, and the beetle munches. Maybe those are the box munches. Okay. Ah, oh, that is also awesome! Yes! Thank you, Blip! Everybody say thank you to Blip for telling us. Oh my god, it's got a health bar. Nice! Blip is OP. Blip is actually OP. Why is one of our only fish... One of our three fish just went right up to that thing and then went, I think I'll try and eat this giant glowing orb that is throwing out here. I suppose they've never seen one before, but still. Okay, let's get a couple more of these guys. Just a couple. Guys, eat! What are you doing? Don't starve to death, you idiots. Dopey-ass fish. Okay, I'll put one food there. So I was a little bit wrong about Blip. Blip is actually potent. Blip is a potent thing for our build. I don't know if he's going to be useful in kind of like the end of the mission period, but he will basically be useful for every other period regardless. Okay, we got 400 bucks. Let's upgrade our food quality. And then with these two coins, never mind, we need another one. Should be able to upgrade the food that we can dump in the tank by one. Two food at a time. Okay, we have no money. That's not good. We have starving fish. That's bad. Please eat. Okay, good. That was very close, actually. Go ahead and get all of this. Great. I'm just going to leave the auto clicker on. Honestly, I would not play this game without an auto clicker, honestly. I'm playing World of Warships. Be careful of a drunk sailor on SE. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. All right, we got the octopus this time. I suppose he's not so bad when we can actually see his health bar. Okay, this fish actually just had his life saved. This one's probably going to die by sheer Darwinism. Try to, like, get him out of the way. And then we'll just hold him down. No! Oh, he just ate a fish. He just ate two fish. Fair enough. We did have a lot of fish to be eaten. To be fair, to be fair. Okay, I snatched that one a little bit too early. We probably need to really upgrade our gun because we are getting both types of enemies here. Okay, good. I think we're going to get hungry fish in lots of twos now. Simply because that's how we're feeding them. Okay, good. Getting quite a bit of money. Okay, so Blip is probably actually the speedrunning kind of creature. Simply because we have all of the analytics that we would always need. Okay, good. Got a bunch of coins being dumped onto the floor of the tank. Also, the lack of coin collection companions is, is not that noticeable. If we're doing it all ourselves, we need three and a... My god, we're gonna need 35 grand. We're gonna need 35 grand. Okay, we can already scale up our food quite a significant portion, and we'll get a couple more guppies. Yeah, I think that's probably a good amount. Ah, you have no food! You have no money for food! Doom loop! Doom loop! Okay, good. All right, that one's hungry and it's not eating, hilariously. All right, good. Now we collect all of this money right here. Love money. Money! Nice. Love this. Uh, tell me, is World of Warships actually a good game? I've seen that uh, Moist Critical, or Charlie as I like to call him, usually has his own kind of like sponsorships from there, so I can't really trust if it's actually a good game, but no one's told me anything else. All right, we're going to have to fire these ones kind of like in the opposite direction there. Damn. Okay, we fired that one back at him. That's pretty funny. That one can go right in the corner. We can use his balls against him. Just realize what I said. No, they're using my own balls against me! How? How could they have such creative intuition? How did they know? My balls are my only weakness! 
I'm surprised we're making this game entertaining. I thought that this would be like a really boring stream because all those retro games that I've seen, when you watch someone else play them, they can be very dull. Like very dull. Especially things like Peggle or Chuzzle. Chuzzle can potentially be dull. Uh, we probably want a couple more fish, right? And I'm also willing to bet money that the next creature we encounter is going to be the octopus. I think they're cycling kind of like 50-50. A 50-50 split. Give me 35 grand for the next one. Let's just get a couple more fish. Just a couple. <sighs> my balls are my only weakness! Dude, I love Peggle. Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it out. Oh, we didn't collect any of that money. I didn't even notice it was even a thing. Okay, the only downside of the dolphin is now we're going to get spammed with a bunch of arrows all over the fish every time they're hungry. Which still, even in kind of like the later game, tells us when it's feeding time. Okay, we got a type U detected. I'm pretty sure that is the octopus. Let's go ahead and upgrade our gun. No, it is not. We are taking this goat down real fast. Okay, good. That was some pretty good damage control. I fired his balls against him hilariously and it didn't cost us anything. That was also very lucky. All right, it's feeding time. All of our fish are not only green, but they've got arrows above their heads. Okay, mass feeding. Now coin collection, because now we know when our fish are hungry. Oh, beautiful. I love this. I love this so much. Look at all the money. It's feeding time. Over the top, over the top. Right now it's feeding time. Over the top, over the top. Right now it's feeding time. Anyone remember that band? Bullet for my lover? Yes, you should play Peggle for a retro game day. Okay, I will play Peggle. If the people demand it, I will play it. The democracy of my channel. This is Democracy Manifest. Okay, good. Uh, we probably don't want to worry about the sing song too much. Our fish are kind of starving. Okay, good. We'll put more food down and now we'll use our auto clicker to collect all of this enormous pile of wealth that's just sitting at the bottom of this aquarium. I love how we feed these fish fish food, right? Or pharmaceutical. We're basically just feeding them barbiturates at this point. Like antidepressants. They know that aliens are coming. They know that they're probably going to die. They know that we are the only thing that can stop the aliens. And then it's still like a 50-50 chance on whether or not we'll actually save any fish. Right? That was a 50-50. Apparently like five fish just died. Kind of stupid. Oh, and there's the rest of them. So we're basically just fart feeding these uh, fish SSRIs at this point. But the fact that we're feeding them SSRIs and then they're crapping out money, that right there is peak capitalism, right? We are offering a service as, as, a, as a corporation, essentially. We are offering a service. I wonder if we pay tax on fish poo. Can anyone tell me if fish crap is taxed? Rich? Yeah, I'll say. We are very rich. We're about as rich as French baking. Which, Kixerna, you should know a lot about. But I love French baking so much. I, I spent two weeks in New Caledonia, or New Mere. It's a kind of coastal island. It's the only one I think that's not Polynesian around the Polynesian islands. It's French. Loved it. Learned a little bit of French there. The thing that I loved about it most, though, was definitely the fact that everybody gets up at the crack of dawn and starts baking these delicious chocolatey desserts that people have for breakfast. Oh, my God. I'll never forget the smell of uh, croissants and danishes just filling the street every morning. That is so cool. What if France has that? I did? Oh, no! How many are dead? How many died on your warships worth of, of people? Because when I play Assassin's Creed Black Flag... I only lose like three sailors per skirmish. Okay, good, we've got another one here. Let's dump all of this money into our gun. Excellent. And die! Damn, that thing is going to go down. Oh, he didn't get a single fish. Beautiful. And now it's money time! I love this. That mermaid was so happy with how fast we killed whatever that thing was that she just, she told everyone, okay, everyone, you need to crap more money out. That's exactly what she's, she's doing right here. She's the foreman. She's the foreman to our, our workshop right here. 700! Jesus, man, you, you have a lot to answer for. <laughs> that sucks. That absolutely sucks. 700 deaths. If, honestly, if I felt like I was responsible for 700 deaths, I would probably go to jail. Like, that, that would probably actually be the general consensus of uh, the fallout, right? I think we should probably just buy as many guppies as we possibly can in this, in this weird oriental area. Simply because it, there is a point at which 
our guppies will just start starving to death if we can't maintain the food per second to feed them. Okay, I'm going to coin that the FPS. So when I talk about FPS from now on, I am no longer talking about the frame rate, which has consistently been like 20, I think. We're, we're now talking about food per second. Good. We're so close to our target of 35,000 buckery booze. God, we've got so much money. That would hurt to crap out as well. I, I probably... If I was to implement a little bit of empathy, I probably wouldn't want to crap out a coin out of my asshole. That would probably really, really hurt. Okay, we'll collect all this money while the... Damn, he does regenerate health. Okay, he's probably going to eat a couple of fish. We regenerated his health fully, by the way. Okay, let's dump him down here into the corner, and he's dead. That's what I like to see. A dead octopus. Popcap Games now listed. Okay, I'll check him out after the stream. Battle sips ra battleship ram into the side of my ship. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. And 700 people died from them. A lot of them are abandoned with. Perfect. EA do have license to them. So I, I should probably just say this early in advance. Credit to the game goes to EA. And if they have final say about like copyright on the soundtrack or something. Like I, sh I should have license for Creative Commons and public domain on the games, but at the same time, EA do have a massive history of uh, kind of like claiming on people's abandoned games and stuff like that. All right, we can afford the egg. No, we can't. I miscalculated. 1,500. Oh no, we need 45,000. Okay, we're pretty close to that last 5,000 then. We'll just get all of this money and then we'll feed our fish because that's a responsible thing to do, I think. New Cry of Fear WR has dropped today. What is WR? Is that a thing? Okay, what is this? A lot of money. A lot of money. That's what it is. It was a rhetorical question. If any of you idiots answered it in a different way, Jesus. Go back to school. Learn how to read. Alien signature? No, thank you. <laughs> I just skipped it. <laughs> Rhubarb the Hermit Crab. Rhubarb snaps his claws at fish, keeping them off the bottom of your tank. Ooh. Why would we want that if we have the the munches? That, that would actually be counterintuitive to what we need. Okay, we want the giant sacks, right? We want the giant sacks prioritized above everything else. So we'll get all the giant sacks. All right, good. I'll get that one that falls fast. Some of these fall really fast, although I I'm not really too interested in them necessarily. I used to be able to get like, when I wasn't using an auto clicker, I could easily get about four to 500 of these shells pretty easily without Without really breaking a sweat, so I, I guess I had some really, really good risks when I was a when I was a kid or something. Okay, got a few more, and now we've got 905. Doubled my record, if not tripled it. Okay, these shells are actually <laughs> it's, it's a little high, don't we think? I feel like dying. I'm really sorry to hear that. Maybe you should go uh, go go have a sleep. I don't mind. I don't mind. The, the vod will always be up to watch later. World record. Oh, a speed run. 46 minutes for Cry of Fear. My god. I can't I can hardly even beat that in like six hours. Although I almost did. I almost did. Uh, we probably want Blip again, and Blip is really handy as a utility, and we definitely want the mermaid. I think Rhubarb does as intended. Don't really think it's gonna be necessary because we can just buy more fish whenever a, uh, an alien eats it. And we'll also go ahead and get the What's worth is also a useless ad as well, because a lot of the small the guppies? Oh no, it only protects them from the aliens. Okay, so he only protects the ones that aren't really worth anything. What a dick. Uh, which is the other one? Turtle, right? We want all of the coins to fall slower and degrade slow slower. Alright, new area. We've got a prego. What the hell? Oh, we can buy pregos. Seriously? No shot. There is zero shot. Is it already crapping things up? No, I think it has to fart out a baby, doesn't it? So I think early game currency would be really handy here. We've got to conserve our money, then, if that's the case. We need this thing to fart out a baby, don't we? There we go. It's bigger. It can probably fart out a smaller guppy. We're probably going to have to defend this one with our life, to be quite honest. Congrats on your 1k sub. Thank you so much, Kick Turner. I'm really, really happy about it as well. Dude has almost got all pets. Yeah, we're very close. So that is the kind of like campaign that we've almost just absolutely blasted through. Oh yeah, this is actually a, a kind of longer game, isn't it? We only need nine grand for this first egg piece, but we can't actually buy any of these here breeders. 
Uh, we can get carnivores, which our breeders would probably compliment. But until this one grows up, we're actually not going to get any money whatsoever in any way, shape, or form. Maybe. Maybe we replace Blip with the... Oh, another one just popped out. Thank you, Mitosis. We've got an enemy approaching right here. Oh, the music's changed. No, it hasn't. Oh, it's just another one of these uh, cedar tits. I love the health bar. The health bar is so nice. So this should give us some money now. Excellent. That is what I like to see. We've got 320 buckery boos. We don't want our breeder to starve. I'll buy another one. Okay, we'll feed it, obviously. We do have some income coming now. We've got like, how much is that? Like 15? Oh my God. Hey there, Bruce. Welcome to the BFD division. I'm surprised you went subbed already, to be quite honest. All right, let's grab this coin. It is 15 bucks. Okay, we get 15 bucks per. Probably need to increase the amount of food that we can deploy because we are getting to the point where we should be doing it. Ah, thank you, mermaid. Thank you, mermaid. We'll feed our breeder and we'll feed all of these fish. We don't want to lose that one that's actually functioning as intended. Got another breeder over here. So once we get these food upgrades, we shouldn't have to worry about food too much. Okay, good. I'm going to get the equality upgrade so that the fish just grow faster. However, the speed at which we are dropping them is not nominal, I would say. Okay, good. If we click above them, though, it seems to actually work very, very well. Good. Uh, so, we probably want the other food quality. No, we don't. We want the ability to deploy more of these, I think. Guys, what are you doing? Feed! Eat the food, you idiots! Okay, I'll get all of this food. We'll feed those two fish. That one there as well. Another one just popped out. Not farting them out anymore, apparently. Feeds. Here we go. Oh, this... This is not that hard. Oh, okay. So, this boss doesn't actually have any specials about him. We just have to rail him as fast as possible. Okay, so now let's uh, dump into the amount of food that we can purchase. This one's going to be a slow one to start, but it is going to scale insanely well if we just get a, a billion breeders, right? I feel like that's going to be the, the case. Ah. I'll be back. Okay, Bruce. All right, let's go ahead and stick all of these into this guy's mouth right here. We could probably actually... Okay, we've got lots and lots of food on the boil now. This is... It's spiraling already. Okay, let's get a couple of these and one nourishment upgrade. And then we'll get all of these coins. Okay, good. Woo! Okay, this one's a little bit stressful right off rip, but it's kind of, it scales a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, we can get two more breeders. That's gonna massively inflate the amount of money we get. We're also gonna get some of those carnivores. Okay, the breeders are starving. That's not good. Go ahead and get all this coins. Nice. And now we'll just focus on feeding for a little bit. Okay, I'm hearing pops pretty frequently now, which is awesome. I love that. Uh, we'll dump some more food into the tank. Good. And we've already got 1,200 bucks. We can probably actually finish this entire game without getting a carnivore. We we'll probably just use these breeders, right? All right, I definitely like Blip. Blip telling us exactly where the enemies are going to be is god tier. I love that so much. Okay, we've got another one here. It's probably going to eat a couple of normal fish, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make as long as the fish above it don't go down. Boom! Got him! Just got railed by a laser gun. Weird. I wonder, wonder what the logic is for lasers working underwater. I don't think there is any logic to this game, though, to be quite fair. Uh, let's get a couple more fish. Not too many, though. Yep, that should do the trick. And now we want to just dump food everywhere. And we also want to collect all of this. Okay, now we need to upgrade to max the amount of food that we are dumping. Done. We've maxed it out. Gorgeous. Okay. These breeders are now dumping babies left, right, and center. I'm hearing pops repeatedly. They will not stop. Okay, once these fish get big enough, I, I'm pretty sure they start popping out the bigger fish as well, which is kind of cool. Okay, we definitely need some piranhas in here, right? Let's get one at least so that they can just eat some of these babies because otherwise we're going to have so much of these babies, everyone's going to starve to death. That's kind of what happens whenever an economy gets too large. There's just not enough resources to go around, and the resources in this game just so happen to be the mouse that I'm clicking with. We'll get three more of these carnivores to kill the population. 
Don't know how many of these breeders we actually have now. I wasn't really counting when I dumped them all into the tank. But I think maybe a couple more of these bad boys and we should be golden, right? Okay, we'll get some of these here. Diamonds, because they are lucrative. And we want to dump this guy into the corner, even though he's going to eat a breeder and probably eat that there piranha. Okay, he's eating everything in this corner. That's annoying. I think we just lost most of our piranhas. A little bit obnoxious, but, you know. I think as it currently stands, it's not that bad. Uh, we still have to feed so many fish now. Good grief. At least you get a bunch more of these carnivores to cull the population so that we kind of, like, maximize the amount of resources that we are getting in the tank while also maximizing the amount of fish that we are successfully feeding. Okay, a lot of them are now starving. Good. A lot of them just grew. Massively inflated their stomachs. Probably because they're pregnant. Let's get another five of these uh, piranhas here. Good. A lot of these here. Diamonds flying all over the place. That's 200 bucks per diamond. Which is probably why we are making thousands of dollars every single second. Well, maybe not every second, but every few seconds we are definitely making bank. Okay, the pops, they're coming. There's a lot of pops. So many pops you'd think it was your father. Okay, I can't see anything. I can't feed anything. Thanks, mermaid. Mermaid's just sandbox. Death bagged us a little bit. And we are good. I think I'll just prioritize these diamonds. I don't think I'll prioritize the coins. Because I feel like feeding the fish is now actually more important than gathering just the coins that they crap out. Oh my god, we've got we've got almost got 20 grand. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Nimbus the manta ray. Nimbus tosses any coins or foodie catches back up towards the top of the tank. No, that is actually uh, what we do not want. We want uh, blip again, turtle again, and we also want this mermaid. That is a great combination. Okay, let's feed this thing. Are you taking the piss? You seriously didn't eat the food I just gave you. Oh, what is that? An ultravore. I think this eats carnivores. Oh, I see the gameplay loop. So we get these breeders right here. And for every one breeder we have, we need to get a carnivore, right? That's that's kind of what I'm extrapolating. And then for every carnivore, we need to keep on buying carnivores at that point so that we can get lots and lots of these ultravores. An egg piece is 25,000 bucks each. We need 75,000 bucks to finish this mission. Actually, that was fine. That was absolutely fine. We were getting that. Okay, that was a waste of a song, unfortunately. Okay, good. We now have two fish. We need to fatten this one up. We need to get that fish nice and plump so that we can extract its its raw mineral resources in coin format, which is very courteous of it, by the way, to naturally evolve to have a coin minting um, organ is very, very cash money of this fish right here. But we want its, we want its cash, otherwise we won't be able to get anything else. I've got sweaty hands, actually. This game is frantic. Okay, good. We get both of these. Looks like we got the mermaid here as well. She's about to do her song, I think. Damn it. Okay, we got an alien Siggy. We'll try and lure that fish away from where this alien is spawning. Or maybe you could just walk into the alien, you absolute dickhead. What the hell? Oh, no, I think its tail is gonna like... Oh, it does. And it just killed our only useful fish. Whoa, no! This is awful! I hate this! Okay, combat is now actually a difficult aspect of the game. It had two phases. It had two phases. We got 320 buckery boos. Okay, we'll feed these fish and then we'll get another breeder. This should inflate the amount of uh, creatures that we have. I'll start feeding them from above, I think. So that they can actually reach the food. Ooh. Okay, another one just popped up. Thank you, pregnant lady. And we'll get this one, we'll get this one, we'll get this one. I feel like maybe we should have probably gotten ourselves some early game generation for the money. Like the dead fish would probably be a little bit more useful maybe than blip at this point. The breeder is not eating. Why are none of them eating? Why, why are they refusing to eat? They are literally refusing to eat. Okay. It's fixed itself. We only have five bucks. Oh, finally, something has started producing money. Good. And uh, we got to feed everything. So we probably need a creature that generates income before we start thinking about getting a second breeder. It's probably a really good idea. Because now we are really short on uh, the price of food. Okay, we've got more fish coming. This may have caused us to be in a bit of a doom loop. Oh, perfect. We've actually got some money coming in now. Great. And we've got a lot of fish that can generate money too. All right, we've got another one of these rude dudes coming in. I'll try and dump food up here. That breeder's probably about to die. It did not die. Good. We'll put this guy into the corner. That breeder is actually about to bite the dust, unfortunately. 
Okay, good. You stay in the corner. Yeah, you can have that little fish if you want. Okay. Don't drift! Don't drift away! What are you doing? Stop! Why? Well, that was needlessly annoying. Okay, good. Yeah, this is hard early on. Why is the breeder not eating? It is literally essential. Okay, we're gonna upgrade the food quality and then we'll probably try and stick more food on the board at any given time with the money that we make from these here food sales. Because essentially what they're doing is they're buying food from us. This is the foundations of commerce, I think. Excellent, and now we upgrade that and now we can put two food on the board at once. Ooh. Okay, so we just have to survive the early game and then we should be absolutely fine and dandy. That new monster is rough though. That is a rough monster. I'm actually going to save up for this new carnivore so that we get uh, diamond generation. And then we don't have to worry too much about feeding all of these fish. Okay, now that we do have the food generation, it's not so bad though. Okay, good. Feed that one and we'll feed that last one too. Uh, we are very, very close to a carnivore. We can almost get the carnivore. Oh, thank you, mermaid. I love this. Let's get the auto clicker out. Gorgeous. Now we can get a, a carnivore. Okay, we've got a couple of these fish crapping out more fish. And we've got a carnivore. Probably should have got that carnivore after we bought the... Oh, no. Oh, seriously? It's about to kill our, our carnivore. That's not good. There's also a hungry fish going towards it. I'm going to move it upwards so it doesn't. I hate the snake sounds it makes, actually. This is a creepy enemy. Uncharacteristically creepy. Okay, I want that diamond, obviously. Uh, we've got another diamond over here. Now, we've got two breeders, so we could realistically get away with two carnivores. I could probably take a guess at. Okay, we've got a couple of very, very hungry fish over here. Excellent. Let's get that diamond, and we'll get another carnivore. Ooh. All right, we've got a lot of money coming out. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and buy more food that I can dump into the tank. Excellent. And that's that problem completely taken care of. So, the breeders should sustain these two carnivores here, which should give us a consistent income of fish. In fact, let's get a few more of these breeders. We'll get them nice and fat. This game's UI clearly inspired by Plant vs. Zombies. Well, clearly inspired. Yeah, definitely clearly inspired, right? I feel like it's a, it's a pretty easy UI to navigate. Okay, one of our carnivores are starving to death. That's not good. Probably actually about to die. Unless we get a fish. Nope, we've lost a carnivore. Okay. That's fine. We probably need more pregnant ladies then, if that's the case. Okay, got another diamond coming down. Beautiful. I'm hearing lots of pops. Love it. I love hearing that. Okay, I wonder what these other ones are going to dump. Okay, we've got another one of these type twos coming out. One of these uh, horrid snakes. Probably want to just dump some food on this side of the map so all of the fish get away. What are you doing? Don't go towards it. Idiots! Okay, it's a shame that the gun now costs about five grand. That thing just ate three fish, by the way. It's a shame that the gun costs five grand to upgrade. Okay, a couple more pops. We'll get these breeders up a level and then we'll probably get a couple more of these carnivores. In fact, let's get a few more of the carnivores now. They do drop diamonds, which is pretty OP, and we could probably spend 10 grand on getting ourselves the other items that we need, right? Okay, good. Go ahead and get all of this. Great, I love this. Okay, we've got two and a half grand. I don't know what we should dump into. Do probably nourishment. Get all of these diamonds. I'm just going to prioritize the diamonds from now on, honestly. I'm not really too interested in the coins at this point, because I know that the fish are really going to be temporary. We should probably just go ahead and grab everything while the mermaid sings but aside from them we'll just focus on feeding our fish there we go maximize the amount of food that's in the tank and we are not losing money anymore we're gaining money just by having food there at all times probably get ourselves a few more of those breeders i mean how many of them can an alien really take realistically take out in a single burst okay good carnivores are having a good feast they're feasting on the flesh of the babies like insom does excellent and we'll come down here. I'm probably gonna clip that uh, thing right with Insom, then I'm gonna tag him in it, see, <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell. I doubt he'll actually see it because he's a huge YouTuber, but you know, at the same time. Oh no, there is a pregnant lady over here. Let's actually get this guy away from the pregnant lady. We probably do with that fish that just like removes the 
fish from the bottom of the tank. Okay, this guy ate two pregnant fish. That has absolutely buggered our economy for a single diamond. Great. I love that. I love how our entire economy just crashed because of a single enemy. Okay, we probably actually do need that fish that keeps fish off of the bottom of the tank. That is probably a really good idea. Especially from just like a collection standpoint. All right, what else we got? So we got 12 grand. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my gun a couple of times and then we shouldn't have to worry about that enemy ever again. So let's just go ahead and get as much of the coins as we can possibly muster. And then as soon as the next alien spawns, we're gonna dump into the gun street. Because we kind of do need a strong gun to make 75,000 buckery boos in this. That is a pretty crazy high amount, honestly. Oh, we've still got a bunch of these little youngins. We could probably get uh, one or two carnivores back in the tank. All right, here we go. It's feeding time for me. And by that, I mean I can grab all this money. Excellent. Whew. All right, let's get a few more of these breeders and then we'll get a couple of these carnivores. And then we'll only focus on the diamonds. This should give us a good, clear line of sight towards the end, right? This is a pretty good economy. I should probably get one of these big guys, see what happens. What do they crap out? Let's see. Oh, we got another one coming. I don't know where it's going to be. Blip. Oh, down here. Where our brand new fish is. Great. Great. Okay, let's get him away from our brand new fish. And just keep him in the corner up here. Bugger him if we have to. Okay. Knocking him into the corner over here. No, stay away. Wait, did he eat it? Oh, what a cock! What an actual cock. That's 10 grand down the hole. All right, it seems though uh, the meta is not to worry about those uber feeders. I think they probably drop like a grand per munch. Let's just get one. I don't actually know how much that they will poop out, but we will find out. Okay, he's eating one of the carnivores. Get a couple more carnivores. Nice. Well, okay, what's this worth? This is 440 up to, that's two grand actually. So if he craps out five things, that is actually worth our time doing. Okay, it's, it's kind of worth it. And it, he does it quite fast too. Damn, I never thought I'd say this. That guy was a good investment. That hurts a little bit to say. Okay, we need to... We'll wait until there's no more carnivores left in the tank before we just dump into carnivores again. And then we'll just keep the amount of breeders that we have here. I feel like we should prob... Oh, we didn't dump our money into our gun string. That's probably why we lost that guy. Okay, we will do it next time. We will dump our money into gun strength in the next instance. Now that we've got this guy generating two grand per poo. A two grand poo is actually pretty lucrative. Like, it's, it's probably the whole... It's a cycle of all of the fish until the big one poops. Anyway. And we can kind of, like, not have to worry too much about feeding the fish. So it's, it's pretty handy. All right, let's dump all of our money into the gun. Excellent. And we are going to nail this guy in the arse, hopefully. Let's nail it. Right in the ass. Oh, we can keep our fish too. Whoa, this thing does a lot of damage. Damn, this thing does a lot of damage. Okay, beautiful. Grab all of that money. We'll feed all of our fish. Beautiful. So it's Tuesday. Just going to be Portal or Co-op Games Day. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. Actually, I'd probably read that. Cozy Games. Uh, hard to say. I'll, like, I kind of want to leave Tuesday and Monday for the games that I want to pick out to play myself. Because there are so many games on my channel that will just go unfinished, if that is the case. If I just go based on popularity, so many games will not actually get finished. And I don't really want to leave any series kind of not, not completed. I want to finish Hygienia. We're actually pretty close to getting to basically the end game of Hygienia. But we still have to do the agriculture in that game, which is going to be a, a bit of a pain in the ass. But other than that, it shouldn't be too worry worrisome. All right, we'll drop all of our money into here. Probably going to sink all of our money into pain for the alien again, because we are generating a fair amount of money. This guy's probably going to get sick. Let's go ahead and just get a couple of carnivores so the big guy can eat. We didn't have them. That's why we got them. And I can also hear the breeders just popping out babies like crazy. Pop, pop, pop. It's like popcorn at this point. <laughs> All right, good. And sure, let's get ourselves another one of these big guys. Probably should have waited for the next alien spawn before we worried about that necessarily, but we're going to get four grand per cycle now. Okay, I want that chest right. I want that chest. Yes, good. Okay, it's down here. Let's go ahead and just annihilate him with our gun. He's actually got a cooldown. No, oh my god! Are you serious? He ate the big guy and left all of the other guys in between him and the big guy. That sucks ass. It's a shame that the hitboxes back then had to be square. 
Otherwise, we probably have our other big fish. Okay, good. Let's keep on feeding. We are now out of carnivores. Let's get another one of the big guys, and we'll get a couple more of these carnivores. Like, the diamonds that they drop is uh, pretty good anyway. Okay, so it's less stressful now. I feel like the early game of this section is fairly stressful, but once you get the breeders kind of like mature a little bit, it's not bad at all. Like in any way, shape or form, it's not bad whatsoever. Okay, we'll get all of this. Good, we'll feed all of our fish as well. Because why the hell wouldn't we? We'll get this one too. So many coins around the place. We probably don't want all of these fish that poop coins anymore. Because even though it is like free money and we're not really collecting anything else while we wait for the diamonds and coin chests, it's still kind of like, it's it's not as good. It's not nearly as good, but collecting it if we have nothing else to do, we can still do that. Okay, let's get a couple more of these breeders so that we can sustain more of these carnivores, which we probably should be buying around about... Okay, I upgraded my gun a little bit so we can kind of like keep some of our money. We want to keep them away from the big guys. Die, die, die! Okay, you can eat 30 fish. I don't care so long as you do not eat the big guys. Those are our major cash cows at this point. Uh, we probably need a few more of these carnivores to feed to the big guys. Great. And we're almost there. We're almost in the home stretch. We're at 60k. We just need to get ourselves 10 more grand. Okay, 66. Beautiful. Love to see it. Love to see it. Got another chest right here, 71k. It's all coming up. It's coming up, roses. We need one more chest. And we got it. Okay. And the egg. And the electric eel. I don't know what this does. Portal Cozy Games? Yeah, it's probably going to be uh, just Cozy Games, honestly. I can't wait for thank goodness you're here. Yeah, I don't think you're alone in that instance. I think that's just going to be the, what the vote goes towards. Because last time I saw it, I think it was at like 60%, right? And the electric eel. Amp can electrocute your entire tank. Killing your fish. And turning them into diamonds. Oh, look at that. He can kill everything. Okay, sure, let's use him. Why not? Uh, we won't use the mermaid anymore because the coin generation is just flat out annoying now. We probably want to try out rhubarb. Get enemies, get all the fish off the bottom of the tank because they are quite, quite cumbersome. And we probably want to keep blip. I feel like blip is really, really good early game. He gives us health bars too. So we're not kind of like just fiddling around in the dark. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can actually... Oh, perfect. Oh, if we didn't feed her... Oh, no, we had to feed her to unlock all of these. All right, we need 150,000 buckery boosts to get the next egg piece. Hopefully this guy kills this fish before it breeds, right? So this is going to be like, how fast can you get from early game to mid game, I would say. All right, we've got two fish. When is it going to do it? When is it going to do it? We'll see what kind of build this goes at. It, so it could be 50-50. It could be really, really good. Or it could suck major ass. Regardless, we'll be saving money on food anyway, so. We learn. Mm. Well, it's yet to be seen. It's yet to be seen. I wonder what the cooldown on this guy is. Okay, there's another fish. Another mouth to feed. Good. Hopefully when this guy kills it, it will generate lots and lots of money. Got to feed the breeder. Nice. Oh, maybe um, this actually gives utility to the whale. No, it wouldn't. That only defends from aliens. Okay. I tried to feed the electric eel. Weird. Oh, here we go. Wait. Wait. Don't do it yet. Fire! Okay, or not. He's just gonna eat my fish. Good, that's fine. So we can kind of stop him from from detonating, right? Alright, this guy's not so bad as long as we actually feed him. Okay, we've got the electric gill. He's ready to he's basically just ready to blow. I think we could probably stave him off. Or maybe clicking on him actually speeds him up. Okay, two more, done. Alright, that's a few fish right there. Oh, he doesn't kill the breeders! Oh, that is OP! That is so OP! Okay, we're gonna get a bunch of these breeders then. Nice, and we probably wanna upgrade the food quality and increase the amount we can place in the tank. Whoops, you're absolutely blasting through this game. Only two and a half hours and nearly done with the game. I know, it's, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? I think I spent like 10 hours getting as far as I did in the first time I played in a couple of sessions. But now, now, now we're absolutely 
killing it. Oh, I like this guy. I do like this guy at the bottom of the tank now. He kind of micromanages. I thought he'd be a little bit um, better, but it doesn't really seem like that's the case. Okay. Feed these fish right here. Two more popped out. Nice. Love that. We're running low on money. We need this guy to uh, kind of blow his load in the water. We need it sooner rather than later too. Okay, good. I'm just gonna set an auto clicker to be uh, here. And I assume if the fish get too low in the tank, they'll just kind of like get knocked up by the, by the crab, which may actually end up killing the fish. Might starve them to death. Okay, we got a little bit of money right there. We've got a, we've got a somewhat grown fish. We've got two somewhat grown fish. Okay, we've got another enemy incoming. Okay, we're out of money. Let's go ahead and take a coin so that we can feed this guy right here. All right. We need to feed him down the bottom of the tank because the Hermocram is going to keep him down here. What are you doing, buddy? Grab my, grab my knobs. Grab my, don't eat the fish, no! Don't eat that one! Ugh! Early game, this guy's just flat, oh my God, seriously? It literally ignored the food. Oh, here we go. There's that thing I was talking about. Oh no, it didn't stop to do good. Okay, good. Oh, they turn into diamonds? No way. That is so good, actually. Okay, let's upgrade the amount we can place in the tank. And we'll also upgrade the quality. And then we'll also get a single carnivore when we can, I think. Okay, they're popping out. Wait, did he kill any of the breeders? I don't think he did. All right, let's get a few more of these. And we'll hope that something gives us money before we run out of money. Oh, we do have a fish down here. So it seems like it's more of a, a horizontal uh, kill everything kind of kind of deal, right? All right, we can place three in at a time. That's pretty handy. Uh, there we go. The crab is going to force everything to starve to death, unfortunately. Okay, we're running. We've got some money generation coming. It's slow, but it is reliable. It's offsetting all of our food, basically. We don't, whoops, we don't really need Zorf. You know, the, uh, the seahorse that kind of like feeds all of the, the creatures. Oh, here we go. Now the money's being generated. Yes, this is what I like to see. That is in fact the thing in which I am referring to in this current juncture. Okay, I don't know what this one's gonna be. Probably another feeder. Let's go ahead and dump it to the food amount. It is. Okay, good. Oh my God, he is done. He's done and dusted. I love that. I love how done and dusted he is. It's a vibe. It is definitely a vibe. Okay, I'm just auto-clicking the food to the top of the tank at this point. We got gold coins, finally. Although they're probably not gonna last very long if the uh, guy who kills fish for money has anything to say about it, right? Although I do think the one-time diamonds is probably actually worth killing them off for. Let's see. Cause it does save us on food. All right, go. Nice. Oh, that is so much money. Holy crap. That is so much goddamn money. I don't know what to do with this money. We've got four grand and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I've decided everyone. I've decided what to do with the money. We bought a billion breeders. <laughs> oh my God, that is so much. <laughs> So much breeders. All right, we can't afford to feed any of these fish, unfortunately, until we get a little bit of money. Oh no, maybe we shouldn't have spent all of our money on... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're about to have a mass exodus. Okay, mass starvation, unfortunately. Hopefully we can get something from these aliens here. Okay, good. Got this one here. We'll knock all of these into the corners if we can. We are going to have to kind of like, okay, I'm going to let that one regenerate its health and I'm going to kill Leo. All right, let's get this one over here. Get this one around this breeder. Okay, good. Can we take him out in one go? Why isn't it taking damage? Uh, oh, there we go. It's taking damage now. That was weird. Okay, we got to stop shooting at it. Okay, let's get it away from the fish. Excellent. Good. Okay, it doesn't, this fish, it's got such a weird fiddly mechanic. We can also afford to feed our fish, by the way. So we'll do that as soon as this alien phase ends. Boom, shakalaka. Oh dear, it's happening. Okay, I don't think we took the diamond. Oh my God. 
Okay, finally, we got money. We got money coming in. Okay, that should offset the starvation a little bit. So we've got tank Darwinism at this point. As soon as we get some coins, we're basically immediately going to be spending it on... Okay, we wasted some food there. We're going to be spending it on feeding everything in the tank, which is not amazing. Okay, missed that one there. Let's go again and just keep on dumping. Righty-ho. Got some more coins here. Let's go ahead and feed these ones. Take these. Feed these fish as well. We need the eel to do its thing. We need it to do its thing real bad. Like, real bad. Oh my god, the economy is too large. Okay, good. Die, everything! Nice! Okay, what have we got? Too much money. Too much money! It's too much! I don't know what to do with it! We got six grand. It's pretty good, actually. We'll probably get a carnivore at this point. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get three carnivores. And they're gonna crap out some consistent diamonds over time. Hopefully... Hopefully the electric eel is not gonna kill the carnivores. But I wouldn't be too surprised if it does. Maybe we'll actually get something better out of it. Okay, we've got a G-type alien down here. We've got a G-unit coming. What is that? Uh, is that the... Oh, it's this guy right here. Glutton, I think is what the G is short for. Oh, look, everyone's going down uh, south side to try and get some food, but they can't because of the crab. Take that diamond, take that diamond, and we'll feed the rest of our fish. Nice. Okay, early game, this is a little bit stressful. I don't know if I like the electric eel. It's pretty potent right at the start of the game, but I can see it getting old really fast. Uh, let's maximize the amount of food that we can place, which may give us next time he does the big charge. We'll keep like a few thousand bucks on hand at any given time, and I think that should be a really, really good thing to worry about instead. Jensen seems very invested in this game. Oh yeah, hell yeah I am. I'm definitely going to be finishing it in a single sitting. You are right, I am blasting through this game. It's really fun though. It's a really fun game. It's kind of like a roguelite, but also one of those really relaxing aquarium wallpaper games that kind of kept coming out around about 2010 to 2015. You know, nothing happens in them. Like that uh, rubber duck simulator that Red Rux recommended I play. Even though it's probably not gonna be a game that I play because um, it's, it's lacking in gameplay. There's no game. There's no game to play. Okay, we are actually starving out fish by picking up all of this money now. Ugh. We need the remorse. We need the remorse. We need it to blast its load into the tank again. We are. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Done. Oh, yes. Right before the alien came, too. Okay, let's get all of this. Beautiful. All right, where is it? Just down here. Uh, I'm going to worry about this octopus first because it's probably the biggest pain in the ass in the tank so far. And we'll divide our attention while the octopus is healing towards Leo down here. Hopefully, the octopus won't regenerate before Leo's down. Good. And it's killing time. All right, we want to protect all of our breeders. God, they have such a dopey look on their face. We're probably not going to get this octopus in one go. I lied. We got the octopus in one go. And we're also going to feed all of our breeders now. Okay, we've got 22,000 buckery boos. And they didn't kill any of our carnivores, which is uh, fantastic. Let's just get a bunch more carnivores. And we'll also get a big one. Because the two grand per fart is awesome. I do love how they fart out 2,000 bucks. Right here, there's another two grand. I love that. Okay. Fart me out some more money, good sir. Thank you. This thing generates farts really fast, actually. Wow. It's pretty lucrative. I think we get six grand before he even gets hungry. Okay. Eight grand before he gets hungry. Okay, he ate one. We got eight grand out of him. So now he is making his finances back. Got a lot of these here. Diamonds. Gonna go ahead and kill. I got one chest. I'm gonna count how many uh, before he eats. Two chests before he eats. Uh, three chests before he eats. I think it is four chests before he gets hungry. Okay, we got three chests out of that one. There was still six grand at the cost of one. We probably need more carnivores in the tank at this point. I probably shouldn't be divvying my attention between all of these carnivores. Okay, let's get a few more carnivores. All right, we've got a G-type detected. That is a glutton. I'm pretty sure that's what the G is supposed to stand for. All right, good. Let's feed this Let's feed this bastard into, into the ground. Nice. Immediately done. I love this. Can't wait for Jensen to be one of those few YouTubers with over a thousand subs to have video titles like In San Aquarium Full Game. I like it. I like it. I will be one of those YouTubers. I do kind of like just advertising the full experience. 
off the couch with me. It feels good. Besides, it's, a, it's kind of like a point of pride. Nice. All of these diamonds feel good, baby. Some of our carnivores might be starving, but... Oh, no, that's actually not affected whatsoever. It only takes out the fish that we don't want and turns them into diamonds. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Whoops. I tried to take that sack of money and it uh, kind of gipped us. All right, we're going to need a few more of these carnivores. Let's go ahead and just get a bunch. So we spam the screen with diamonds now instead of all of the coins. Yeah, it's a point of pride for me. If I can upload a video that says full game in brackets, it's a point of pride. I'm actually happier to make those videos than I am just to make a consistent series or even a really well edited video. Because it gives me the satisfaction that says, hey, you've finished the game. Beautiful. I love the full game format for videos. Make some great background audio for me while I work. I didn't know you watch these while you work. Uh, what do you do for a living? Without doxing yourself, of course. Awesome. I know a few people are actually watching my VODs at work now too. I've got a couple of personal friends who do it. Okay. We've got a G-type that's going to be glutton. Eat this, you bastard. Not the mothers. Oh my god. God, he, he was eating those fish like insum. He was eating those live children fish like insum famously does. What a guy, huh? He plays horror games and he eats live baby fish. Very creepy. Very creepy indeed. In fact, I don't even really think that he's limited to babies. Let's face it. Oh my god, we have we almost have a hundred thousand bucks. That feels so good. Maybe we get another one of these. We get two more of these big guys, we get a bunch more carnivores. And then we just like make the last sprint with all of these sacks of money. Okay, we aren't feeding our original fish. Even if we lose a bit of money, as long as we get all of the big treasure chests, we should be golden. All right, the money generation is now actually taking the piss level of fast. Okay, come on guys, crap out more sacks of money. I care not. I care not how you do it. I just want legal tender to spend on more fish. Yes, kill them all. Beautiful. Okay, we've got to feed our fish as well. I was neglecting doing that. So, I don't know if I like the remora. I don't know if I like the electric eel. Simply because he does do a really good job of culling the population with these breeders, but at the same time, it's not actually all that helpful when we get into the later stages of the game. Okay, we've got another fish incoming. We'll get these big guys to feed. What is this? Multiple alien ciggies? Okay, we've got one top side here. We'll get rid of them immediately. We'll force them both down into the corner here. Nice. Leo can go in the ground. Okay, the... This guy here is regenerating health. I'm actually just going to keep DPS on him. Okay. There is a pregnant lady coming over here to see what's going on. Only to find that this... Oh, wait! Can we regenerate in excess of this thing's health? Are you serious? Come on, lady. Okay. We don't want to regenerate his health anymore. We just want to poke him into the corner a little bit. Let's upgrade our gun a few times. Because you don't really have a choice. Now let's get him away from... No! Oh, that was so close. We almost just let him eat one of the big cash cows. Oh, that was hectic. And yet here we are. We've survived. God, this feels so good. I do love these games. They do give you kind of like a sense of satisfaction when you beat something. I, look, I work for a company called Mega Cat. That's about all I can say. Oh, okay. Uh, is it like a security thing? Is it a programming thing? I've always wanted to be a programmer, but then I actually took formal training in programming and I realized I don't want to be a programmer. Long hours. The pay is good. The pay is good for programming, but not really for the deadlines that are imposed on programmers, I would say. Also, it's, it, if you're going to work for a video game making company, I'd probably much rather work in a marketing department for them. Game design company. Oh, that's sick. That is so cool. Love it. I bet it makes you happy. Or at least satisfied, right? Okay, something is dying. Oh, we don't have any carnivores. That's embarrassing. Okay, let's get a couple of these big guys back in here. We ran out of the carnivores. We do actually have to manually buy those. I don't think we can get any pregnant carnivores whatsoever. Or maybe that's actually what we are about to unlock. But why would we want that? Oh, because they crap diamonds. And right at the start of the game, that 200 bucks is actually going to be very helpful. Okay. Multiple alien signatures. Oh, they're across the game from each other. Uh, okay. There's one here. One down here. That one's a bit of a bastard. One down here. I'll go for this one, and we'll ignore that one now and go for Leo. If he tries to move, we'll force him back down. Stop. Stop trying to move. Stay in your lane! When was the last time our 
Remora killed anything. I don't think we'll use him again, honestly. I don't think we'll use the Remora again. I think we just need a really, really good balance of, uh, like, small fish pregnancy and the carnivores. In fact, we should probably get a few carnivores right now so that the big carnivores can eat. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I don't know if this money generation is actually necessarily worth it. Now that we've got, like, two grand per fart on the big guys, we probably just want to maintain what we've got with the carnivores, right? All right, got 132 so far. All right, there's some food coming down. Hopefully that pregnant one doesn't starve to death like an absolute idiot trying to get to the ones at the bottom of the tank. What a dunce. Okay, we're 10 grand off. We are literally 10 grand off of finishing this mission. This has been a long one, actually. Made a game called Into the Pit recently. Into the Pit? Oh, that sounds familiar. I didn't have much involvement in that project because I'm a newer hire. Oh, that's awesome. You got enough for an egg piece? Yeah, we don't want to go for just a single egg piece because it doesn't actually add anything to the game. That was something I definitely remembered back when I was first playing this, is that buying egg pieces does not give you a single thing. What you want is to be able to get enough to buy all three egg pieces at once, and then the mission is over. Boom! What do we got? Gash the shark! Gash viciously attacks aliens, but will snack on one of your guppies from time to time. Okay, we'll use him. We'll try him out instead of the mermaid, because she's getting a little bit cumbersome. And we'll keep on going with Seymour and this blip combo here, so we know where everything's spawning. Let's feed this pregnant fish. Done. That's cool. Uh, so, you must have a few things to do with the FNAF franchise, right? Well, maybe not directly impacting it. I know that a lot of companies outsource a lot of their labor, but that'd be kind of cool. That'd be sick. That'd be sick to do for a living. A lot of secrets, though. My God, you'd have to keep a lot of secrets. Okay, we've got two hungry fish right here. The pregnant one was unfortunately blocking the arrow of this little fish. But aside from that, we should be pretty good. He's probably going to eat it, honestly, before we go and generate any money, which might not actually be a good thing. But we do have a little bit more generation when it comes to... Actually, you know, we, we probably don't want Blip anymore. Like, Blip is not particularly useful now, aside from exactly when the, the aliens come and get us. So maybe we want to replace Blip with uh, something a bit more financially generative. I'm waiting for this guy to eat one of the guppies. I want to see how many we can generate before he decides he's hungry. Okay. Good. That's one. That can generate money. I hope this shark doesn't eat the one that generates money. I hope he generates... I, th I hope he eats the smaller one. We're probably about to find out. Okay, we can feed this one. Type 2 detected? What was that one? Was that the... Um... Oh, that was that giant snake. Right? The bone snake. Okay. Yep, there he is. We'll get him away. Yes, viciously! Oh my god, that is actually quite a lot of damage. Wow! I like this guy. He's basically... He's basically a skip. He's a skip button for all of the... Uh, for all the guns. That's pretty lucrative. Now we aren't spread so thin whenever we get attacked by two things. I mean, I know we're working on a fetch game soon. Yes, Scott already announced this. I'm not breaking any kind of contract, but that's the only FNAF projects we have right now. That's kind of cool. So you are kind of like an, an, an outsourcing company, right? The people outsource the projects to you guys and you, you just satisfy whatever they ask for. That's pretty cool. We got uh, one company here in New Zealand who makes games and also does a lot of outsourcing work called Rocketworks. Um, they're pretty big, honestly. They made DayZ and a few others. I think it, was, it wasn't... It wasn't Astroneers. It was more like Space Hydroneers or something like that. They also made one of those. I can't remember. It's really uh, Dunedin, New Zealand's crowning glory at the moment. Okay, we've got 400 bucks and we are still kind of like not doing so bad. The shark is actually a good investment. I think we'll keep him long term. Whoops. Tried to buy a carnivore. It didn't work. Probably want to upgrade the amount of food we can place. And then we'll want to upgrade the nutrition of it whenever we can. Okay. We can start dumping food in here now. Or maybe that's not so good. Okay, good. We are generating money. It's pretty good. 14 alien signatures to do. What do you mean 14? Piss off, 14. Eat my ass game. Oh my god, that is actually quite a few of them. Okay, I'll take those out. Knock that ball over. Good. And that's a ball that we need to knock out of the way. Damn! We got that one good. I love the shark. The shark is actually kind of OP. Gotta be, it's kind of an OP shark. 
Uh, we probably need more breeders though, don't we? we? Now that we have the nutritional upgrade, we'll get another breeder. Because we do have gold coin generation. And we are going to lose that anytime soon, which is just fantastic. So I think for now, we'll just kind of count our lucky stars and try and generate as much of these coins as we possibly can. Okay, good. We'll go ahead and we'll drop some of these pellets. We are feeding. Like, I know that this early game is now quite comparatively slow to the rest of the game, but it does kind of spiral. This is kind of like, it's asking if you've mastered the game yet, which I, I feel like we kind of have. Okay. I think one of the starving breeders just popped out another baby, which is pretty funny. Uh, let's get a carnivore next chance we get, I think. Okay, shark just ate a fish, which is absolutely fine. We don't necessarily care about him too much. We ever thought of the aquarium simulator roguelike as a very smart idea? I know, right? All of these kind of like retro games that came out just post 2000, they are definitely innovative in their own sense. And I really haven't seen innovation like that up until Undertale. Right, Undertale was probably a decade after these games were coming out and they were really, really good ideas at the time, but they look like ass and they are kind of weird. Uh, this thing's probably gonna kill off our breeder down there. There it goes, that's a shame. Okay, good, sharky, wacky. Go on, eat it! Eat the rest of it! Okay, good, done. Let's go ahead and feed more fish. We can actually get a carnivore now, which is pretty uh, cash money. We'll go ahead and we'll do that after we feed all of these and we'll collect these coins at the bottom of the tank as well. Good, now we get a carnivore because we want the diamonds. We want the diamonds crapped out. There's 200 bucks per crap. And then hopefully after that, we will get ourselves some decent uh, cash per, some decent farts per minute of the gigantic $10,000 ultra carnivore. FNAF was extremely innovative. It was in a way, wasn't it? But at the same time, it was, it was a point and click. It was an innovative point and click, but it was, it was still a point and click. Honestly, I, I don't want to say it's overrated, but I do think that people give the original, like, first four FNAF games a lot more credit than it deserves. I've seen a few games like it before it was published, and they were not nearly as famous. I, I feel like FNAF got kind of lucky. They won the lottery, and a lot of YouTubers ended up playing it immediately as it came out, which then enabled uh, the developers to keep on making games. Because he made, like, 20 games before FNAF came out already. So I feel like he was just going to become a decent game developer and kind of famous anyway. Okay, good. We got three grand. We got 3,000 buckery booze. We got multiple alien signatures detected. That is fine. After this, we will buy ourselves. Seriously? Guys? Okay, that killed almost everything. Play guy, probably the worst threat. Okay, that's another two of our fish dead. Awesome. This guy has almost killed all of our fish just with attrition. Nice. We've lost every single one of our breeders. Thank you very much. Okay. At least we've got four grand. That is nice. I got four breeders and we'll get another carnivore, I think. And then we'll also get another few breeders. Maybe. Just so that it doesn't matter how many rounds these guys fire off from their, from their guns when the aliens invade us. We'll upgrade our food and then we'll get a couple more breeders. Excellent. Because we do have some diamond generation, which is just absolutely awesome. Dude, why don't you eat a... Oh, right, okay. So there weren't any fish to eat. Because we didn't have any mature breeders. That's a shame. At least two of his previous games are cult classics. Now, yeah, they're cult classics, but I wouldn't say it's, like, massively innovative to the genre. Because now everybody just calls them uh, Five Nights at Freddy's fan games. It's not actually point-and-click, you know, survivals anymore. Whoops. That definitely would actually fit the bill for these janky retro games. Yeah, it definitely would, but they came out way too late. Like, way, way too late. We're probably just going to play that on a Monday or a Tuesday at some point. Once I have the stomach in me to, like, look at the Five Nights at Freddy's entire franchise and think, okay, I can read 40 books, I can play 20 games, I can read e-comics, and I can go and search for two games that were just flat out deleted off the internet out of insecurity. All right, what are we being attacked by? Type two, that's the snake. All right, shark, come in here, earn your wage. Damn, this thing's tail, it doesn't actually matter. It doesn't matter if you get this thing down off of such low health immediately. It, it just doesn't matter, because its tail just wails on everything in the tank, regardless of whether or not you can kill it. And it seems like it, it's, its damage per second appears to be limited and capped. 
as well. I don't think that upgrading the gun has really helped us. Other than just increasing the amount of dam damage that each tick we can do to it does. All right, what do we want now? Probably another few carnivores. All right, apparently we just uh, lost a lot of money on something and don't know what it was. Probably all the carnivores, let's be real. Okay, we've got enough mature breeders that we can get away with these carnivores now. Hopefully they will earn their way before we get to the next alien phase. I feel like that's probably actually going to be the, the way to go on this map. It's just kind of like, make sure that you're earning an excess of revenue before you get it killed. So as soon as the alien dies, that will probably actually be the most responsible time to buy the additional fish. So next time we get an alien, we're probably going to have to then get a gigantic carnivore, and then we'll worry about feeding it after that. Because we only have to feed it once for it to make its, make its revenue back. That one that stopped the fish from going to the bottom of the tank was kind of crap, actually. That companion. I don't think we'll ever use that again. Multiple signatures detected. That's probably going to be the Leo and the Octopus. Okay, no, it's not. We've got to take this guy out first. He is significantly worse than the Rocket Man. There he goes. Whoops. Okay, what did, what are you fighting at? There and there. Uh, we've got to take this guy's rockets out in advance. Done. Done and dusted. Done. Okay, so we lost no carnivores, which is beautiful, and I think we didn't lose very many breeders either. So I love that. Let's go ahead and fully upgrade the amount of food that we can place in the tank, because we are not running low on food anymore. Probably also get this guy right here. The big guy that craps out the two grand's worth of stuff, because we've got a few carnivores. And they're probably made redundant now that we've got this big guy that craps out the sacks of money. Gigantic sacks of money. Like that. We'll take that one, of course. Thank you very much, game. Okay, we'll keep on going with this. And we've got diamonds coming out. The wazoo, literally, just firing out the wazoo. Probably the sharpest poop. At least it's not a star, right? If a star was falling out of something's wazoo, I'd probably be a lot more concerned. Okay. I'm going to take all the diamonds anyway, because there's no reason not to. We need a few of these big guys. We'll wait until the next alien cycle before we actually start getting more of those big guys, though. Probably don't want to worry about it too much. Uh, we also don't have any more carnivores, so I'm probably going to buy just a couple more of those. Just to slake the first of this big guy that craps out the money that we actually want. If he dies during the next raid, that's unlucky, but... You know, it is what it is. It may actually die during this next raid as well. At least it did make its money back and then some. Actually, a lot of things are going to die during this raid, unfortunately. Yeah, it seems like it is kept at kind of like damage per ticks. Okay, that second one is not nearly as potent. But it does one hit all of our fish. Which is not amazing. It has multiple fish at once, at once as well. Okay, let's get another one of these and a couple more carnivores so that we can feed it. And in fact, let's get another one. Get another one of these real big guys. That should inflate our income massively. Nice. I love all these diamonds here. They are so good. Okay, we've got to focus on feeding as well. Just got four grand in one click right there. Beautiful. Jensen is truly locked onto this game. It's a fun game. It's a really fun game. That makes you money. <laughs> and you don't have to give Logan Paul a thing. Isn't that awesome? Finally, it meets the needs of YouTube's demographic. And it's not even a scam. You know it's ugly. <laughs> We've also got like three decades worth of uh, people telling you, hey, this game is hideous. Uh, we need some of these big guys to feed. Apparently all the carnivores are gone already. That was pretty quick. All right, two of them died. That's fine. They made back their income, which serves us well. We're just going to go ahead and harvest these two guys, and then we'll take a look at how much money we've got after the next alien raid. Probably... No, we definitely don't want the eel, right? The electric eel. He's not actually very good after you unlock these big guys here. Okay, we're probably going to lose this one. This really, really big one here, which is, again, unlucky, but it is what it is. Never mind. Are we going to lose it? Probably not, actually. Nice. And dead. This one really tried to die. That other big guy right there. Okay, we'll get a few of these carnivores, and then we'll get as many of these big guys as we possibly can muster. And now we should be generating so much money, we will have probably maybe one more alien encounter. Whoa. All of these sacks of coins at once. I love it. We'll have like one alien encounter left before we get the required, oh my god, 225,000 bucks. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe a few more alien encounters. 
Actually, looking at the amount of income we are making, it probably won't be. Okay, we'll get a few more of the carnivores so that the big carnivores can eat. I love this. This is actually a great little workflow we've got here. Even our breeders are doing well. They're paying their wage. Excellent. And there's another sack of money right there. We're already at 50 grand, actually, by the next cycle of aliens. This is a pretty damn good setup. If I do say so myself. Another sack of coins right there. Let's get a few more of these carnivores in here. A little bit of an investment. And then we'll see what we've got to go after the next alien cycle, because I don't think we have much longer left until that is coming. I think it comes every, like, two or three minutes. I don't know. I've never, like, timed it or anything like that. Nice. All right. Type 2 detected. That is going to be the big nasty, the, the snake with the two heads. We probably bought it hydra, right? All right. The shark ate it. Damn. This thing killed two of our big guys. All right. It's dead, though. Done and dusted. Let's go ahead and get a few more of these. Wow. And a few more carnivores. Good. Okay, we'll actually spend all of our money on carnivores, I think. Because they're not going to be in the cage for very long. Nice. We're already at 40 grand again. We didn't spend all of our money, but we probably didn't have to. This is probably going to generate as much as we need, right? I feel. I feel like this is going to generate exactly what we need. Okay, we've got all of these chests of money just absolutely dumping into our pockets. Holy hell, I bet this is what it feels like to be Jeff Bezos, right? We've already got the amount required for one egg. I see a fish starving. Oh, I actually kind of wanted him to starve. All right, we've got a bunch of these big guys need to eat. Okay, one of them starved to death, which is fine. I feel like they need a carnivore to not starve. Like, every time they crap out a sack of money, it's worth two grand. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we're going to need lots of carnivores now. And thus, we will probably need lots and lots of breeders get a few more of these breeders we'll get them to maturity and that should sustain all of our big guys for the time being okay i can also see the frames dipping a little, <laughs> a little bit uh, we're almost halfway to our goal of 225,000 buck reboots all right we got multiple alien signatures detected that's fine they are kind of out of the way which is really really nice ish okay down here we kind of want to get rid of this guy because it's all uh, death traps okay we didn't get any of the missiles. All those orbs are gonna kill everything. The orbs only kill the little guys, which in turn kills the big guys. Okay, I, I see why. I see why. That's kind of rough, actually. All right, let's feed most of these guys up to maturity. We'll get some carnivores just to feed the big guys. Probably don't even really need to feed the carnivores anymore. Once the big guys start getting hungry, we we'll probably just get a bunch of carnivores, feed them, and just continue that cycle, right? We probably don't really care too much about these breeders anymore. I'm gonna stop delegating my time towards them. It's probably completely unnecessary at this point in the game. We are very, very close to our goal though. Like massively close to our goal. There's only one carnivore left in the tank. That's pretty funny. Let's get more of them in here so that these big guys can eat. And we'll also get a couple of these big guys right here. So we massively inflate the amount of money that we have coming into our pockets. Excellent. Damn, we've got so many items. I'm not hardly even feeding the base fish anymore. That's how, that's how much we are picking up. Okay, since we are doing this, we probably just want to get ourselves a bunch of these carnivores to feed the big guys. And then we'll kind of re-up when the next alien invasion happens again, because that is a strategy that has actually been working up until around about this point. I absolutely adore this game, by the way. This is one of my favorite kind of like old-timey games. This and Morrowind. And this is not one made by a giant AAA studio. Okay, we got lots of money coming in. We are almost at our $225,000 gold. That one big guy can die, I don't care too much. As long as none of the others die. Another one tried to commit seppuku, but we just didn't let him. All right, 225, we are 10 grand away from that. We are massively so close to it. Let's get a few more carnivores in there, just in case we need them. And we've got it. Boom, boom, boom. Angie the Angelfish is our next companion. Nice. Angie has the ability to resurrect dead fish. Wow! That is good! That's really good! Ah, I love this. I love this so, so much. We're gonna try her out. We'll try out Angie instead of the shark right here, because we get to the point where... We, de we are defending fish, right? And if we don't need to defend fish, if we can get them resurrected, if this one right here 
does actually do us the good that I think it'll do. We don't need to fight the enemies as uh, much as we have been. Gonna go with the turtle to slow the fall of goods and services. And we probably again want blip again because blip gives us a nice UI. Which I don't think should be companion locked. There's only one other creature that I've ever seen, sorry, uh, one other game that I've ever seen do that. And that's Far Cry 5. You know, locking HUD elements. Mm. I feel like, and maybe once every so often that this guy resurrects fish, maybe he synergized really, really well with that electric eel. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe that's the case. Uh, by the way, this is our last mission. Once we beat this, we have beaten the adventure campaign for this game. Okay. Why are we even feeding them? Why are we even feeding them? Honestly, if we can just get them a free resurrect, why the hell are we feeding these fish? There you go. Late stage capitalism. Actualized in word. Okay. I'm gonna feed, uh, I'm gonna refuse to feed this fish and we'll see what happens. We can save a little bit of money. This guy's got a little halo on his head. I bet this halo disappears and this other fish gets fed, right? There it goes. Oh, he goes down to it, yes. Okay, so he has to kind of hump the fish, it seems. He's got to hump the fish and then it resurrects. That's fine. Okay, good. Well, it didn't do any good though, because I'm pretty sure everything is about to die. Let's kind of like try and shoot this guy off into another corner. Okay, that shark was actually kind of carrying. I don't care about that little fish. Uh, we'll, we just gotta keep him away from the general consensus. Done. Nice. Okay. So now that that's out of the way, we will just put our auto clicker there, and I think we will buy nutrition. We'll buy the nutrition, so we have to feed them less. All right, good. One here, we'll feed this guy and we'll feed this guy here. One of these guys should be big now, so we get a consistent steady stream of income from coins. Excellent, there's our first one paid off. Now I don't know if we have to feed them every single time. No, we don't. We got two coins for one fart. Sorry, two farts for one food. Good, so we get around about 50, 30 bucks per fish. As long as we keep them fed, which only costs us five bucks per click. Love that. This, this one's going so much better than the last one. Maybe we should just like dump straight into nutrition every single time. Or just not get enemies that kill our fish immediately. That was quite unlucky actually. Okay, we can afford the nutrition. Good, we can get the upgrade. And now we can also feed the fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get these coins of course. And seven. Hey, first gold coin, nice. And our first 110 buckery boos that we aren't immediately gonna spend on something else. Okay, two alien signatures, that's fine. It's probably gonna be Clay Guy and the robot. I'm about to see. Yeah, no, it is Leo and the octopus. Okay, we wanna get Leo away from there because the octopus is regaining health. Okay. The octopus just ate two of our fish, but that's fine because we're gonna get a bunch of breeders after we get this guy's diamond. Damn, this guy's got a lot of help. Whew. I have two suggestions for Wednesdays down the game suggestions tab on Discord. Excellent. I'll take a look at them after the stream. Get back down there. Okay, good. Damn, this guy's got a, a tank level of health. Honestly, I probably wouldn't be surprised knowing that this is the last level in the game. Because it is. We're, we're actually at the last level of the game. We've basically mastered it. Okay, we got 890 buckery booze. Probably want to spend it on maybe a carnivore? Yeah, let's get a carnivore. So we should get some pregnancy coming in here. This guy should fart out some, some nice diamonds. He's about to eat right now, good. Gorgeous. I feel like we should probably actually get a couple more breeders at this point. Actually, no, let's increase the ability to feed multiple fish at once, because we can't do that just yet. Awesome, diamond right there, let's go ahead and do it twice. Good, now we can put three in the tank at once. We don't have to be too diligent with like keeping the fish alive now, right? Because we got Angie, which is awesome. Angie the angelfish, which I think is the most thematic name that any of them actually have. Because usually they're just like Angus the crab or um, Bill the crab or Philip the crab or something like that. It's just not very creative, the names. 
Well, we don't even need to feed all these guys, honestly. We'll, we'll just let Angie, like, resurrect a couple to save some money. Oh, we've got two grand. Okay, let's get a couple of breeders after the next alien phase, which is right now. I timed that perfectly. Excellent. Go ahead and feed that little guy. Feed a couple of these guys, actually. Okay, good. And down, down. Down, down. Okay, that guy's got a cower in the corner. I'm going to kind of try and separate Leo a little bit. See, every time he comes out of his cage. No, don't go down to... Oh, our only breeder just committed to poker. That is such a stupid thing to have happened. Also, another gold coin fish. See, this is why you have to wait until the alien fades, right? This is why you actually have to wait for the alien fades to finish. Otherwise, everything that you rely on is just gone. Okay, I'm gonna whale this guy. Why isn't my fish chasing it? This is RNG gone mad. Okay, now that we've done that, let's get four breeders and a couple of carnivores. Should have waited to get the carnivores because we can't actually feed these breeders here, unfortunately. Uh, they're not mature enough. Okay, fine. We This one's going to have to starve, unfortunately. Two of them are going to have to starve. Hopefully they can, like, shear. No, they cannot shear. Oh, Angie can get them. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, is she going to get all of them, like, consecutively? No. Okay, so once they hit the ground, they are unable to be resurrected. Good, we've matured three, four of them already. Excellent, we'll get that diamond, of course. And we want to feed everything else. We've got three grand, actually. Let's go ahead and start dumping carnivores in here because now we need the diamonds. We've got two more because that's how many breeders we have. We've got four mature breeders. Bye. Whoops. Excellent. Collect all these coins because they are early game valuable. Oh my god, the cost of an egg is 100 grand. We need 300 grand for this. Sweet Jesus. All right, good. One more popped out. Uh, not terribly interested in growing them anymore. I'm kind of glad that we don't mature them in a single pill. Because now the carnivores are actually getting uh, fed. Okay, we got half half of what we need for the big guys, it seems. Uh, unless this guy has something to say about it, he might actually kill all of our breeders. And one of our, one of our carnivores. Okay, good, got him out of the way. No, go take that little guy. Good. Excellent. We don't we don't care about him too much. Nice. Got him. Got him. Uh, now we probably want to dump into breeders, which means we can eventually, once these guys are fed, dump into carnivores. Okay, they're about to die. That's not good. That was so close, actually. We almost just lost all of our breeders. Okay. Let's just upgrade our food output, because now we're at the point where we don't really care how much food we're sticking into the tank. Gonna go ahead and max it out, of course. Angie does kind of pull her weight. I do like Angie. What I don't like is... Yeah, I don't think that, now that I know how she works, I don't think she'd synergize well with the eel that kills everything. Because the eel only kills the little guys, and that wouldn't be particularly helpful in the end game anyway, would it? I don't think so. I don't necessarily think it would be too helpful. Okay, we've got a few breeders. Uh, we're almost at the point where we can buy ourselves a real big guy. We are bleeding money from the food, but it's absolutely fine. Okay, got two diamonds right here. Got another diamond right there. Okay, got a, a few more carnivores because we do have a bit of a surplus in population. Now that we've got a few more matured uh, pregnant ladies. Multiple alien signatures. That's absolutely fine. As long as they're both down in this corner. I do not give two hoots. All right, we'll see what we get after this. Okay, these guys are kind of rough, actually. We got five of those over there. We lost a single carnivore. It's actually not so bad. Fire these two back over there. And the play guy, I'm gonna fire his balls back at him. They do do significantly more damage than our guns. We can actually fire the clayman's balls back at him. They're a massive weakness of his. Just knocking around between his legs. Oh, it hurts so much! We'll just knock him back into himself. Good. Like when you do the helicopter too hard and you accidentally hit your torso with your own... You know what I'm talking about. Every guy's tried it at some point. That, like, consistent pain over time that comes with it when you knock your balls into yourself. Or when you're doing hip thrusts at somebody to try and, like, try and bait them into into getting them into your bed. They're doing massive hip thrusts just to show your your, profici your proficiency of being able to do hip thrusts. And then um, your, your balls, like, swing up and they smack you around the stomach. 
You know, just uh, just relatable memes that everybody can relate to. We'll get one of the big guys now. Excellent. Okay, good. Got a couple of diamonds. Perfect. We've got a couple of these little guys now. Uh, they're coming in waves, it seems. So we can probably do with just sinking our money into the big guys. Probably should have waited for the next alien cycle before I bought that second one. But I'm pretty sure he's going to pay for himself before we actually do get to the alien cycle. Okay, fine. I'll feed the fish. I have to take a break from collecting money to feed the fish. The hallmark of a bad manager. Spends all day collecting money, does not acknowledge the people who make him money. Okay, good. We've got play man and a few missiles coming out of the way. These aren't actually that bad, gotta be said. Okay, we killed one small fish with our negligence, but we made so much more in return. Okay, so now we've got probably enough money to get another one of these big guys, and we want another carnivore about as soon as possible, which means we need a single sack of this to feed them. Good, and now we need to get a few of them. Excellent. So as long as we have heaps and heaps of these big guys, I think we'll just be generating heaps and heaps of money. And then I think the run up to saving it will probably offset all of the alien invasions. So we probably still, again, don't really need to upgrade our gun whatsoever. Like obviously it's probably gonna be a pretty good idea to do so eventually, just so we can save some of the lives. But with Angie around the place, literally getting every corpse she can find, give, giving it a nice wee kiss, and then it resurrects, we should be in a pretty good place anyway. Okay, excellent. Probably even get another couple of these big guys. We're, we're, okay, we will wait until the alien invasion though. We just have 46 grand in my pocket and I'm really tempted to spend it. Or maybe if the next alien invasion goes really, really well. Or actually, maybe we should just dump into the gun. Because I think we've got enough for 10 levels just flat out now. We'll do it. I'm doing it right now. Okay, we maxed out the gun. That feels really good. We cost ourselves 40 grand, but in the grand scheme of things, we do need 300,000 buckery booze to get to the next area. Or if you want to be precise, 900, no, 2 million. No, something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm not doing math. I'm killing things. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll feed up big guys because they don't really care about this alien invasion so much. Here we go. Die, octopus. Oh, yeah, you can definitely do like a limited amount of damage per tick against that guy. We saved all of our big guys right here. That is fantastic. Let's get a few more of these carnivores and then we'll get two more big dudes. Good. And we'll just keep on getting these giant sacks of money and diamonds. It's even getting to the point now where it's, it's costing us money to grab the diamonds. That is trickle down economics as people hope it works. Never actually works like that though. Okay, we probably need more carnivores. Good. Just dump into here. Okay, diamonds, chests, they're all coming. All of, this, all of this wealth is coming to us now. It's all coming. We probably don't have enough time really to feed our fish though, our base fish, which may not be the best thing in the world, but Angie should help us out pretty well. Okay, let's go ahead and get a few more of these carnivores because we don't have any. Good, we're getting more of these sacks of money, which is awesome. Being translated into wealth. Nice. I love this. Okay, a few more carnivores. A few more carnivores, there's in like 12 of them, I'd say. Okay, Angie is literally sitting in the corner, probably revolted that she can't do anything. Oh god, all these coins are in the way now. We can't actually access these chests. It's happening. Uh, we've almost got enough for the first egg piece. We've got it. We've got enough for the first egg piece. All right, multiple enemies detected. Really? You don't say. Okay. We got this one right here, this octopus. Leo is absolutely ravaging our tank. That's not good. We've got to stop shooting this octopus, unfortunately. Get a couple more carnivores. Probably not the place to have dumped them, though, game. Thank you very much. Okay, good. So Angie can't actually resurrect the fish that the enemies kill on account of them not leaving corpses, because they get eat. They get eaten. Now we want to dump basically all of our money into these big guys, I think. Just we have such a huge amount of revenue being generated. Let's get a few carnivores just to sustain their hunger. Here we go. Here's all the money coming in. All right, we've got 20 grand. We're going to make back all of this money super fast, by the way. We're already making it back super fast. We're already at 40 grand. Great. The economics is firing. I love games like this so much. Any game where you can, like, start out from nothing in kind of, like, a rather difficult setting and then basically break the economy and become Jeff Bezos. I love those games so much. We're already at 80,000 bucks. Okay, we've done it. Let's go ahead and feed our gigantic series of carnivores. 
Excellent. We don't even need these other fish anymore. We don't need these little ones. In fact, it's costing us money to have them here. We just need to be able to generate these chests, which means we just need to be able to afford buying the carnivores in the first place. Because they generate an excess now, as long as they're fed, of what we spend on them. We basically, we make an excess whenever we spend uh, maybe one purchase price of the base creature, and then maybe 2,000 on the food that it takes to feed them. So 12,000 bucks, and we generally make that back very, very quickly. We've got 200,000. Okay, these guys are not going to make it. Okay. A little bit of a shame. I think three fish died, but they were tiny fish. That's pretty funny, actually. Okay, good. We only ended at 100,000 buckery boos again, and we'll go ahead and feed our gigantic carnivores now because it's feeding time. Good. Give me your boo. Give me your poo, large fish. I love this. I actually love the economy of this game. It's so fun. It's so fun. Whoever had the idea for this game should have won a Pulitzer, quite frankly. Even though the story is just not there. Like, it, it doesn't exist. The game itself is phenomenal. And that's all I can really say about it. It still looks hideous, though. Jesus Christ, it looks ugly as hell. Okay, we're almost at the end. And we got 27. We got... Yeah, uh, 27, no, 270,000 buckery booze. And we are so close. We're not going to feed anyone ever again. We are done. <laughs> Evil Alien Mastermind. Evil Alien Mastermind actually isn't very helpful at all, unless you consider devouring the entire contents of your fish tank helpful. No, that's... Is that helpful? I don't think that's helpful. I don't think that's helpful what, what, whatsoever. Final boss of doom approaching. Oh no! There's a final mission! All of our creatures are here though. Wait, what? Why is nothing attacking this? Okay, I'll box them into the corner here. Oh, I see! We gotta take out the ants. Gotcha. Before they eat all of our fish. Oh, I see. Yes, I do actually see. Piss. That ain't good. Okay. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. We got the whale left, which is an ass creature. Okay, little aliens, that's fine. Probably want to try and bait them onto the other side of the map pretty soon. Okay, we got the clay man. Uh, we'll try and fire this back at the clay man. Die! Oh, uh, we also don't have the uh, really, really useful hug creature anymore either. I think it was a porpoise, something like that. Okay, kill that alien, of course. Damn, this is actually, this is, Tricky, I'm getting him onto the other side of the tank. We can't let anything touch this whale. This whale is getting onto the other side of the tank now too. After literally all of this time. Okay, we've got to get his health down a little bit. Now we ignore him. Just, just a little. Good, we'll take out his ads. Perfect. Knock him into the corner again. Take out the ads. Now we want to take out that bear, little octopus. Okay, we are doing a lot of damage to everything that this thing is outputting. What a weird ass... I can't believe this. This is actually a roguelite aquarium game. Like, this just confirms it. There is actually a final boss. That is super, super wacky. Okay, there's one thing. Okay, we saved every single creature we did not want to save. Look at this. Look at this right here. Every single creature we didn't want to save. And we got... We got Presto the Tadpole. Oh, so the last one was like a joke. A joke, a joke companion, that's funny. Presto has the ability to metamorph into any of your other pets. What? You've been awarded 5,000 shells for defeating the final boss. It doesn't even get us a single companion in the other game. We did it. Congratulations. You've successfully vanquished the alien hordes. The epic conflict between fish and evil has finally come to a close. Oh, I can do better than that. Thanks to you, aquarium owners can sleep easy tonight. Many a pet gave their lives in the final battle, but do not grieve, little one. Angie purposefully set out the fight, and word is she's got a few tricks up her sleeves. Actually, she seems very one-dimensional. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next game. It's an aquarium. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Does anyone actually remember this stupid ass humor right here?
Look, it's all of these creatures that we misnamed. Is a beetle muncher a breeder? Man, there weren't actually a lot that we could get. Retrospectively, this game is also like 20 megabytes big. Okay, what are these guys called? Balrog, piss off. Sylvester, no. What? Sylvester? Gus, that makes sense. Destructor also makes a little bit of sense. I feel like they started getting common sense around around the fourth creases, creature. Ulysses, no. Psycho Squid, yeah, I see that. Bilaterus, how the hell was anyone supposed to get that? And of course, Cyrax. Wait, isn't that a goblin? Isn't that a YouTube goblin? Cyrax? The guy who has Minecraft girlfriends? Okay, Stinky, Nico, Itchy, Prego, Zorf, Clyde, Vert, Rufus. We're also getting some unique music right here as well, which is a real treat that you probably would have been grateful for before like 2003, when you could like just go on LimeWire and download soundtracks yourself. I mean, I never did that. I never did that. Nimbus, Blip, Gumbo, Gumbo sucked. Rhubarb sucked ass. Amp was okay, I guess. Gash, pretty good. Presto, never used him. Andre, mm -mm. And there's also four eggs we didn't get because they're not available in the base game campaign. We could probably try for them. We could probably try for these other four eggs. They're in the other aquarium. I'm kind of tempted to actually get them as well. Credits? We just saw the credits. Okay, game design. George Fan, one person. Feed, feed these two. Okay, producer Jason Kapelka. Sick Beer Sidu, I don't know how to say that name. Programming, three people. What a tiny ass team. I'm not, you know what, I'm actually not that surprised though. The art's pretty funny. So what the artists would have done was they would have just kind of like frame by frame animated them swimming. And that would have literally been it. It would have just been like a, a gif. Music, two people. Popcap framework, one person. Biz dev, I don't even know what, a hell, what the hell a biz dev is. Person who manufactures a business? Q&A? Oh, Eric Harmon actually sounds kind of familiar. Brenna Flood, I bet she never lived that name down. That's pretty funny. Marmot salesman. <laughs> a marmot is a marsupial. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like prairie dogs. <laughs> hey, that's random. Man, that actually fits the, the bill on the, on the kind of, it, it dates the game, doesn't it? The like, hey, that's random kind of sense of humor. I don't even know who Flying Bear Entertainment is. I bet the PopCap Games thing, I bet Flying Bear Entertainment was what, what everyone worked for. Except that one guy who had the PopCap Games integration, right? That one person. All right. Oh, that actually jump scared me. Okay, let's look in our virtual sh uh, tank right here. Oh, we can feed our fish. Weird. Okay, Prego's farting. Insim just ate the baby, fresh out of the womb. Didn't even wait for the umbilical cord to be cut. Insim literally just stuffed that baby right into his face. Like the traditional Insim that he is. Okay, what else we got? So, there's a tank here. The checkbox controls whether or not to display the alien attractor in your virtual tank. What the hell is a bubbleator? Sure, you must buy the bubbleator. You must buy the alien attractor. Okay, always show when fish are hungry. Sure, done. Yeah, okay, so screensaver. This is what I was talking about. You can actually set this as your screensaver. So, if we go into our, not tank, pets, right? We could probably actually replace one of these guys with, uh, I don't know. Let's replace Zorf with Angie. We'll get Angie to just resurrect all of these fish so that we don't have to worry about feeding them so much. Red Rucks can die, for all I care. Here we go, Insom's about to eat another baby straight out of the womb. That's disgusting. Right. So, if I go ahead and check out the store. Yeah, they're all gone, it seems. What is this one? This fish has developed a taste for exotic food. That's weird. There's a breeder here. Let's get this here, breeder. Uh, what's the name of a popular kind of like person who gets pregnant all the time? Gonna name a hoe. Done. Thank you for shopping. Thank you. Okay, Pooper is about to die. Let's see if Angie actually resurrects Pooper. And Ho is also about to die. Probably want to feed Ho. All right, Red Rucks also about to die. Let's feed Red Rucks in case this doesn't actually work. Pooper. Up. 
Prego's pregnant again, and she just farted out another baby. Never mind, Edson took care of that problem for us. Let's feed Ho. Well, still playing? Yeah, this is kind of like the, um, the real easy bit. There is, there is a, a bit at the menu that just says, hey, we know you beat the game. Check this out, it's really relaxing. Okay, I'm gonna feed Ho right here. Pooper, uh, we're not gonna feed Pooper whatsoever. I don't even think they die, honestly. Insom is uh, getting sick. Good thing he just chowed down on that freshly born baby. Do we actually have to feed them? Does it cost anything to feed them? No, okay. Oh, yes! I'll probably play this for about 15 minutes and then we'll, we'll, we'll go and play a different game because there's only so much of this game that we can really see. Okay, Prego is pregnant again. I can see her belly oscillating and she just farted out a baby. But thanks to Insim, that baby will never see the light of day. Everyone in this cage is really sick. I wonder if we can grow our pellets. I don't know if we can. I don't think we can, actually. We've got four fish right here. We can return to the tank. Pets? No, that does nothing for us either. Okay, so we didn't need Zorf at all in here. What about this guy? What if we just have this guy here at all times? I'm trying to find a way to get these shells really, really fast. I don't think we have to feed any of these creatures right here. Although Ho probably won't fart anything out unless we feed her, so we'll go ahead and we'll feed her. Prego's about to dump another baby out into the tank and Insom is devouring its carcass. What a weird guy. I don't know if that's like a, a public service or a, a felony or something like that. Okay, I did just get a shell. Okay, let's feed Ho so that she poops out a baby. Although I don't think she's gonna pee, poop out a baby at the rage of Oh my God, we only get 10 shells out of this guy. Are you serious? Okay, there you go. Another fart just happened. Insom just ate a sick baby this time. That is creepy and weird. What else have we got? Okay, let's just feed. Is this seriously as fast as we can generate shells? This sucks ass. Seriously? This one's 25,000 bucks. How the hell are we gonna afford that? There's also a predator here for 100 shells. Uh, what do we want to call this one? Who else? Who is also a, a predator? Oh, uh, Daniel Larson. Okay, we'll get rid of that space right there. I just watched this uh, documentary on, uh, what's the face? Turkey Tom's channel about Daniel Larson. There we go. Let's feed, let's feed him. We'll also feed all of these little creatures too. I'm not gonna box them in too much. Daniel Larson just ate a baby. Classic Daniel Larson. And some just ate a, a freshly fed baby too. Okay, so Angie I don't think is particularly useful because it doesn't really seem like she is actually resurrecting it. It doesn't seem like they're dying. Like none of these creatures are dying. What if we get this tadpole in here? What about we get the tadpole instead of Angie? Okay, it's turned into a tadpole. But why? But why? Insom just crapped out a shell, good for him. Okay, Prego's about to fart out another baby, excellent. Love to see it. This is weird. This is super weird. What is the tadpole doing? Okay, I think the whole purpose of this game mode here is actually to kind of like give us the wallpaper version of this game. We only get five bucks from every time this guy craps. That's a terrible income, honestly. That is really bad. All right, I think I've seen enough, right? I think we've all seen enough. Why don't we move on to something that's uh, not silent and also a little bit offensive? Not in the sense that, hey, I don't like what I'm seeing, but in the sense that, Hey, why are you not giving us music? <laughs> we just beat the game. The least you could do is put some music in the background of that. Oh, bonus adventure. Okay, we definitely can't unlock these other four. Maybe we'll come back to them. I'll put a poll up in, in YouTube or something at some point. So, everybody, this is how big it was on my screen, by the way, as I was playing it. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Insane Aquarium. No, you're probably actually going to find a playlist for, like, One and Done's Adventures. 
So, you're gonna find that up there, right up here, you're gonna find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're gonna find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community at your leisure. And of course, until I make the next video, or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!